and roof and restoration. Fixing those roofs all across the nation. You got some roof and you got a leak. You got to call up Chad. Let him give it a peek. Give it a peek. Give it a peek. He's that, up on the roof. He's giving it a peek. No, oh, no. I found your leak. No. Put a piece of tape on it. <laughs> that's, that's, that's not, not what he does. does. That's not uh, what he does. If he fixes the leak, I guarantee he doesn't uh, just put a piece of tape on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Also, not uh, really all across the that's nation. That's a good line for uh, a dance. Put a piece of Florida. tape on it. Uh, put a piece of tape on it. Ah. Put a piece of tape on it. Ah. Sticky. Sticky tape. SecuredRoofingRestoration.com. They're a great roofing company. Like, uh, they just have a new promotion uh, going forward. They're offering a 20 year workmanship and labor warranty. Uh, not only that, that's not even the shingles, goal, guys. Uh, Our goals. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the yeah. actual, their job. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, they're yeah. doing. It's, that's how yeah. they, they are so confident that they're going to put this on your house. Yeah. Put it's this their on your employees home. that yeah. do it. Yeah. They're, they're going to do something that, that most people don't do. They're going to back it up. Yeah. Because <laughs> since their employees, secured roofing restoration employees, are putting on your roof, yeah. they could offer this guarantee because they, they know it's that. own right. Yeah. Also, they're doing this thing for Tom and Dan listeners only right now. Uh, up to a five hundred dollar credit if you get a full roof replacement. That's even if you have to go through your insurance company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They you, you they'll give it to you in a Visa gift card, and you could also use a credit towards gutters. They also do gutters. I know I saw a question on the BDM page the other day. Plus, uh, if you're getting a shingle roof, they're hope to get it done in one day. Uh, they could offer twenty four to forty eight hour emergency tarping. So if a storm comes through, give them a call. Yeah, that's what I was talking so about. No when more my, damage when, happens. When my dumb rap, but but you're, you're you know what? Yeah. Your way's better when you actually just say the regular words. Yeah, they uh, contactless inspections. If you think something's wrong with your roof, uh, get an inspection. They'll come out and let yeah, you know yeah, free. Not necessarily the smartest thing to be getting up there poking around yourself. Yeah. Also, free roof estimate if you go on securedroofingrestoration dot com right yeah. on the front page. Get a free roof estimate. It's worth checking them out. Get Getting the estimate, and if you get an estimate, they'll let us know. Just let them know they're coming from yeah. Tom and Dan. And we're going to send you a hat, yeah, some yeah. free stuff. I mean, yeah. we've always got something to be. To, we want to hold ourselves accountable, yeah. and we want to do a great job for you and for our client. It's Secured Roofing and Restoration Live from the Streamline Mortgage Solution Studio, it's Orlando's own Tom and Dan. Whoopee. Hello. This is your Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan program. We hope that you will find our presentation precise, joke-heavy, and just bright. Thanks. To the Friday free show of a mediocre time. Yeah, welcome indeed to a mediocre time with Tom and Dan. I'm Dan. I'm Tom. Samantha Butler are here. We're running it lean today. Mm -hmm. We're running it like a chopper. We have removed (laughs) the turn signals. We have removed anything that doesn't make the show go fast. This Uh. is not for safety. This is for pure fun. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Fun Friday. (laughs) We took the passenger seat out. Uh, We did. uh, Took everything everything out. out. No radio, air conditioner gone. (laughs) Anything that's a pump that doesn't just pump straight nitrous into it is gone. So we got new uh, merch. I'm tired uh, now. We do? Uh, t- well, I mean, not new today, uh. but uh, <laughs> new masks up there. Oh, yeah. I finally got one of those new uh, side chicks masks this yeah, week when I came those back. Those are nice. I have the new red Tom and Dan uh, retro yeah, mask. Yeah, 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 I really, yeah. really like mm-hmm. that. But yeah, there we go. Yeah, um, some sales going on of uh, some BDM shirts and all that. Uh, just check out our merch section. Um, also, our texting service. If you want to uh, text us, uh, just text BDM to the show number, and that'll opt you in. And then you'll get uh, the yeah one eight four four T O M the letter N Dan Tom in Dan. Yep, like he has his penis mm. in my butt. So, um, you guys told me that uh, Butler was chopping on the way well, to it's a nat- We got to witness, yeah. like, a natural... Live action chopping. We got to- yeah, it was like a natural chop. Uh-huh. And it was very uncomfortable. It was very <laughs> weird. 
Uh, there was an element of, I want to say, natural chopping racism that was involved. Mm. Okay, all right, yeah. um, because as soon... Okay, so we... Every day, almost every day, um, some gathering amount of people, whether it's all of us or some of us, make a pilgrimage to Publix to get right. the snacks, toilet paper, lunch, food, yeah, yeah. lunch. You know, sometimes just to walk, stretch your legs, because uh, we don't have. It's this is a sit down job. Yeah, it's an office job. We talk. It's fun. Don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying we stretch our legs. Yeah. So the three of us. Usually I don't go. I stay behind because I don't right. like camaraderie. Well, unless you have to go to the bathroom. Right. You, know, you yeah. like to take a big stinky shit when we <laughs> yeah. leave and you wait for it. And I know you do because every single time <laughs> no, we come back, the whole office <laughs> right. smells like shit. And then we go to the bathroom and it's got full on. You and no. Butler have sticky doo-doos because you're Butler not drinking enough that. water and you're dehydrated. So you have those sticky fudgy doo-doos and you've got those. <laughs> Fudgers that fudge around the bowl and then they slap mm. the sides and it's it, <laughs> no, it's no. Gr- you grease pencil the whole fucking porcelain. It was bad when I came back this week. I don't know no. what you guys. It's have not been me. Eating. That was Buller. I haven't been pooping in here. Well, yesterday, I changed yesterday my... you grease penciled the shit out of that thing, dude. It was brown town. <laughs> that was a late day. Poop. I changed. Yeah, that was bad. It was mm. sticky. The, the only time I, I I started shitting up the Mine's office straight was, black was, diarrhea. So, so I have no I have no dog I think in the fight. You fun. guys had a. Mm. a a uh, shit fest while I was gone. We last did. Week. Oh, yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah. It was a we it, shit everywhere and fucked each other in it. <laughs> it, was, it was a shit. It was disgusting. It, if you'd been here, uh, you would. Yeah, I, it's it, atrocious. It was a, with the door open. Yeah, yeah. It was a shit and R word fest. <laughs> because, yes. wow. yeah, because when was. you left, Butler then def- like uh, felt free to scream yeah. the R word every other. Yeah, day. he was like, yelling at. Wow. Yeah, 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 yell like, a few other things. I won't talk about until I. I got to check the climate. See if you guys are ready for it. We can all say the R word. We're like, I don't want to say that. And then he starts saying, he's grabbing in my ass and he's like ah there's nothing you can do about it Sam's not here I go into the bathroom there's yeah, yeah. turds everywhere yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I we did peed with the door open yeah. Yeah. Oh, because okay. you weren't here so I'm, and then I do that move where I like to do the move where I start peeing here and then I just gently march backwards just to see how my string I don't really let much fall on the ground <laughs> now you sir you pissed all over the place because <laughs> oh, you're on the phone to Tony like a goddamn <laughs> think, World War II veteran and I think because Tony is an elderly man and you linked your Navi tail into his elderly man Navi tail you started like hemorrhaging piss <laughs> all over the place like because I can only imagine I that Tony no offense to Tony I love Tony but he's old enough I believe to have earned the right to piss everywhere he wants and deb just accepts it right right because he's old to a certain you point, yeah. are there buddy and i'm proud of you he this guy it's... pissed everywhere just like that you remember harold lunch with harold it wasn't him it was the it was the, the war no lunch guy. With, no it was both oh was it yeah and it was yeah, also yeah, yeah. The, oh yeah harold didn't piss here the former wrestler no, yeah no, we had a yeah, lot of <laughs> no that the was that was matt morgan the wrestler i don't care I don't care. What's he gonna do? Maybe we could come here and beat me up that with his smoke great mitts? maple syrup. <laughs> yeah. yeah, what are you gonna do? Brown. Yeah, it was brown. Thick. Yeah, you gotta the check. Viscosity that guy's gotta thick. check his fucking supplements because you can't sit out in your Ford Explorer, <laughs> running for mayor of a town, huffing cigarettes, and then come into our studio. He did a great no, interview. He's a nice guy, but then he, he pissed brown, nicotine. He, he Coca Cola <laughs> nicotine piss all over our heart. Like, oh, <laughs> oh, there are guys that are there are men that are so weird. large no. and their penises are so large <laughs> that they can't. <laughs> control the piss that comes out of him. It's uncontrollable. Yeah. It was like you a know? fucking cave. Like, I guarantee you that everywhere. he put his hand against the wall and he was like, oh, oh. <laughs> we had that rail was, there, and, too, that he could the, hold on. And then the it's older just like gentleman, a, though, was, uh, it was all over the floor. It was, all, it was bright <laughs> yellow, I, like he took his vitamins. <laughs> yeah, I, I had that experience when I was talking to Tony. I, didn't, I couldn't yeah. see... Uh, you started pissing. your eyes. You started, <laughs> you started pissing like Tony, and you pissed everywhere. I, I was in a hurry. I was excited. We have this new plan, and then I was talking to him. And I, I got like, a new plan. Tony, Tony. They put the seat uh, Hold on, Tom. I'm pissing. I'm pissing everywhere. <laughs> oh, that's what it's all about. By the way, here's what a, a good, valuable employee would do is when you go into the bathroom Clean after your... Clean up my piss, <laughs> you slave. Oh, my no, God. No, I'm not 
not saying that. I'm just... Butler! <laughs> Butler, get in there! Wipe up my vitamin piss, you F word. I, uh, I'm just saying, if I, you know, mm-hmm. if, if I walked in and my, one. and my boss was stressed out talking on the phone, new plan, and then I, you know, and I go in there and I see a little bit of a sprinkle. No, he oh, a little bit. So Butler running out, and Butler's like, he did it, he did it! <laughs> Burn the witch! Well, that's <laughs> a chopper in him. He's like, come see him! Then he come see him! I need to call these people! And, and Butler like, will open our double doors! Doing? He'll open our double doors and go get a bell that he keeps in his drawer, and he rings it, he's like, town crier, town crier! Come see the piss stains. Yeah. Come see Tom's piss stains. Your wife's here. Did you know your husband pissed all oh, over God. the bathroom? <laughs> No, it wasn't all over. It was a couple drips no, on the bowl. It was not drip. The seat was up, and then Butler's like, "Come here, I want to show you guys this." Yeah, like, come here, this. everybody. I'm like, just let hey. me get my mag light. Hey, what <laughs> happened to the? You just walk up, like, okay, I, first. If it was me, I would just take some toilet paper, wipe it off. That is not true because spare. you go in and out, and it's still wet. Every time I go in there, it's just a wet mess in there. <laughs> but the one, it's not all me; it's some of it's Butler. But you haven't wiped it when you've no. gone in there, so you're a straight up liar. Okay, right now. I, I have pissed the seat. I wiped the seat down, and I put the seat down, Sam. Every single time I piss, I put the fucking seat down. You guys have been leaving it up lately. I have not left that seat up. I put I'll it down, die I'm, on it, and I'm, I wipe my. I'm seat. just saying, I would. I mean, you don't even have to Butler, touch it. Okay, Butler you does something that's too far. Butler will dab his dickhead with a little <laughs> piece of toilet paper and then leave the toilet paper in the toilet and not flush it. And oh, I do not like not that. Acceptable. I do not like that. That's no different than a woman right. wiping her vagina, putting the paper in the toilet and leaving it. We yeah. we need an executive bathroom around here. Uh, For you and I. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, 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 yes. We need, uh, maybe we could rent. Oh, I wipe those down the, every morning. The people. I uh, what do you want, what are they, uh, Look, she's just taking precautions. Yeah. Only Butler is used to yeah. 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 yeah, it's on. It's stuffy in here, by the way. You guys mm-hmm. should really have the air moving. Huh? Well, you're in here talking. Why? 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 To push the corona around? No, we like to, I like to know where it is. We've been dormant. It's right behind Sam right now. Oh, <laughs> God. you got to circulate it. No, and get it clean. We, we leave no, no, it on the couch where it belongs. Oh, my God. Your wife's still wiping down her Cheerios boxes. Come on. We're beyond that now. Oh, we're gotta, beyond that now. you got to remove yeah. Bernie from the video. Uh, oh, okay. Crystal's yeah. sitting on Bernie's uh, lap uh, right uh, now. <laughs> bye bye, Bernie. Okay. Yeah, Bernie's sitting on your lap. He probably really likes it, too. If there's anything that'll make him less grumpy, it's uh, you and your lap. we got to circle back. Back around to the the public chopping yes. scenario. We're okay, coming back sorry. around. So I got to witness Butler naturally yeah. chopping. So Sam and I walk out with Butler. We're going to get some stuff. There is a man of uh, what appears to be because he, he was smaller. And yes, I'm profiling a Mexican man here, uh-huh. smaller, a painter Mexican man. Yeah, he's here to do some work. He's looking for an address. You can tell he's looking for he's an got address. Got his phone out. He's, he's got looking his around. phone out. He's looking at the phone. Looking at the numbers. Looking at the phone. So we all did the math here. We understand that he's looking for yeah. an address. But me and Dan power through. It's keep on business. walking to Publix. Uh-huh. It's not and my I, business. He's not and then asking then you, you for help. I am. You, no, he's not. And then you hear Butler right behind us go. This guy's looking for an address. Yeah. Then no you shit, then, Sherlock. Look, and so we oh keep, my God. We got we to look at this guy. We, we don't say a word. We keep walking. And I, I think in my brain, I go, God damn it, Butler's going to do it. And then yeah. he goes, Hey, bud, uh, you, you're looking for an address? Hey, and bud. Like, hey, bud. Damn it. <laughs> what is hey, bud? Hey, bud. And hey, he's yelling loud. Like, and, hey, then he, and then he does this. That's he goes, Canadian accent. Then he does this. He starts this. charging him he with goes, no mask on. <laughs> are you looking for an address? Oh, are you doing the loud? Address Okay, yeah, yeah. He does that. And the guy does not. He'll adopt his Spanish. The guy there. does not speak English. Donde uh, a adreso? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, He's man. blatantly racist by yes. adding O to yeah. every single uh, English word. Me and uh, Dan just kept walking. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I want no part it, it, of this. It's just, it's and it didn't, saw, it didn't help anything, right? No. It made it worse. He didn't no. ask us for directions. By the way, when we walked back just, from Publix, he was sitting on the curb smoking a cigarette. Yeah, yeah, he didn't even care. He's like, I guess I'm wearing toaster. Be- yeah, I'm probably, probably yeah. gave him the wrong direction. Yeah, so I just kept going because I'm like, this is stupid. And I keep going. And then Butler looks at me like, why didn't you wait for me? Yeah. I'm being a good person. I'm like, you're not helping at all. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. have time for this shit. I got to get a sandwich that I can come home, force it in my face, and then get to work. Butler's the type of guy that when you uh, <laughs> like something spills all over you, like you, you're drenched. Like uh, he starts dabbing like, the head of his dick to get the <laughs> no, off. He runs over and then starts dabbing your tits. And, I think yeah, he's helping. You and you're like, what are you not doing? Anything? <laughs> yeah, he, no, you're rubbing the chili he, into my tits. Yeah, he wants to help <laughs> everybody. <I'm> chili tits, <laughs> but he's not helping at all, making it worse. <laughs> right. okay. mm-hmm. um, but should it be the? 
but I don't even give credit to the effort for whatever no, reason. Like, no. I don't think it's coming from a he good place. He didn't do anything. He, no, he wasn't. It <laughs> would make him feel good, right? Yeah, that was from not a good, You didn't help anybody. You didn't. You didn't. You actually bothered that man. Well, speaking of uh, Butler, uh, we we had a revelation this morning, babe, and this has to do with you. Oh, uh, how you doing? Uh, by oh, the way, I need to remove Bernie from there. Too. Okay, My wife there Crystal's we're... here Hello. Uh, from the Bart Merrick team. I told her to swing by because she was uh, showing a house nearby, and, uh, and there's I a couple to grab of her book. So Butler uh, revealed to us today, and this proves me right in two aspects. Oh, uh, boy. I have something to say. I'm a gay Jedi. <laughs> I'm like, all right. Well. He said, <laughs> Tell me something I didn't know. <laughs> we, I mentioned, I'm like, oh, yeah, Crystal's going to swing by after she shows his house. I told her to come by. We, we're going to talk about her jaw and some other things. I got Whoa, some of theories. Or, anyway, and then Butler all of a sudden started getting nervous, right? And then, like, started, <laughs> he first, he, he, his, he immediately untwisted his lightsaber. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, because he was, was he he waving went, it around. He went to the coffee table, got our Bible out, and set it on the table. <laughs> my grand, my grandparents are coming over. Like Butler, the entire morning has been uh, oh, show, oh, showing us around. his lightsaber yeah, yeah. that he bought yeah. because he finally got it. Yeah. And uh, then he, he, he. Lord Vader. And the, first, he shows me the, the base, the handle of it. He's like, this is the handle. And then he takes the other out of a case like a pool cue. <laughs> 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 yeah. Minnesota fat. <laughs> The toy? Uh, at, <laughs> sitting right there, uh, Butler. You can put it on yeah, camera. Show show you, yeah, yeah. Hey, hold on, I'll put it. Wait, uh, babe, th- by the way, this thing. <laughs> guess how much this cost? Uh, to, uh, I mean, I would have paid. Fifteen dollars for that at the monster truck show. <laughs> uh, oh shit! It does look like a monster truck Babe, show light up th- stick. Th- this okay. was three hundred dollars. Oh, <laughs> oh, I like your natural scream. That was good. <laughs> my God, you can't write that shit. And uh, he, he twists it on, and then he uh, he hands it to me. And I will say that I turned around. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I heard it. and, and he got the bug. He was like, <laughs> it started now, slow. He was like. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> he's into it. Two things that make me happy: how miserable this makes Samantha because she oh. just sits there typing her computer, and usually I'm the miserable well, I just one. Leave. I hide in here. <laughs> but <laughs> then Daniel came running in, and then we're all just uh, doing back and forth, and Samantha's mad, mad just typing. Keeps like there's commercials to do. Um, so I barely got those in on time. Anyway, back, I barely started the show. Started at ten minutes late. Back to the revelation we had. So then I said, Chris was coming by, so then Butler starts getting like uh, noticeably nervous and like pacing back and forth and like unscrewing his uh, <laughs> a lightsaber, and then he goes to like put it away in his truck, and I'm like, wait, we wanted to talk yeah, about we're that. Gonna, we're gonna do that. <laughs> and, then, and then Dave's like, what's wrong with you? And he's like, I, uh, Crystal makes me nervous. And then, uh, <laughs> yes. And then, this uh, is true. And then we're like, w- and then Dave's like, why? And he had a ginormous, <laughs> like, almost zipper busting <laughs> erection. Like, and you could visibly see, and you could visibly see, now I'm no detective, but you could visibly see what looked to be very very, very, very thick and dehydrated pre cum <laughs> coming down his leg. Thick. Dog water. Thick dog water right down the jean leg. And then uh, we're like, why does Crystal make you nervous? He's like, oh, last time I was over there. <laughs> <laughs> this is so true. My shit's uh, don't, don't, don't listen to me, but this part's true. It, it, the, when oh, yeah, was, when was it? Was it was I was for an event I was picking you up for. Oh, uh, yeah, so yeah, I, yeah. I forget what it was. When it was that? The pre COVID. At my yeah. house? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, it was a long on. time ago. Usually, I, I like when that you're insulted comes, he's been to your house. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, you were at my house. Oh my god, he knows where I live. Yeah, oh, Jesus. Get the wipes out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I usually invite Butler over when my wife's gone because he's there to borrow shit or give my kids toys. I don't want her to know about it. Happy wife. Happy uh, wife. We're changing drugs. So, <laughs> <laughs> don't talk about. Don't talk about that. Thank God. What happened? I need to know so I okay, can defend so, myself. So, oh, it's undefensible. Last, no, I'm with you. I, I'm. Uh, this is making me so happy. Oh, it made oh me this so turned happy. Sam's day around. Last what? time, I, I she's like, I came in to I came in to pick you up, right? Or whatever. And then we were getting ready. You were getting your stuff. He was waiting for you to come uh, out, right? and then. I I made a comment about a pimple you had in your cheek. Uh, like Butler t- said, "Hey, you got a pimple in your cheek." To so, me, oh. no, to me when I was in there, and I was like, "What?" Uh, you know, I don't notice. I didn't notice. And then, uh, <laughs> then I'm saying goodbye to you, and then you whisper to me, but just like I always yeah. say, you whisper too loud. It's like an Andrea whisper. You said, "What is he autistic? How does he why does he, <laughs> know, so that, why does he just yell out? You, you said, got a pimple." I on the absolutely no, the did quote not was, say that. He said that, you said Butler's that. quote said it was, "What's wrong with him?" Is he autistic? Yeah. I absolutely did yeah. not say that. It's, it kind of I vividly like remember that. I know. Oh. I know. 
It sounds like something you would scream whisper. It, does. <laughs> yeah. it sounds like something my wife would scream whisper. But it's not your fault because, no, of course, that's only Wait, something that he, use, a crazy person or someone. Did I use the word to... autistic or did I use another Butler? word? No, no, it was autistic. It was... I don't think that was me. No, uh, it wasn't. Uh, it was, it was she, she only uses the R word. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we know. Uh, you know what, Myth Buster, you're right. Myth Buster's a liar. We you know what? She it. defended herself, and she's yeah, she yeah. is honest. And you oh, know what? She is not guilty. Kaiser so Yeah, she is R-word. not guilty of calling him autistic. She <laughs> didn't anyway, in fact call him the so, R word. So then, <laughs> oh well, either that happened, which it, I mean, it's that, because of course, why would you say? Does why? that sound like something I would say though? Well, yes, if because why would someone just point out someone? But this is Butler. <laughs> okay. like, like, I was this is something autistic people or choppers do. They're like, what's wrong with your armpits? Or <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, he look, like, you're, like, like you're I was at medium. Dustin's barbecue two weeks ago, and Andrea Scream whispered to me, that man's ponytail's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> As we moved our table, yeah. because his Confederate flag outfit-wearing lady who was there for the Mustang <laughs> car convention, we moved our table because neither of them had masks, and she was freaking out and doing the wipe thing, and she did scream whisper to me, that man's ponytail's disgusting. <laughs> yeah. We talked about this, guys. <laughs> And it's something me, choppers do. Yes. And they're like we have they a can't B- help it. We have and I'll, uh, we have a BDM that has uh, claw hands. Um, and uh, I know. We, we talk about it all the time. Yeah. It's obvious. Giovanni. He's a nice guy. They're, they're obviously he's disgusting not- looking. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, just, yeah. He knows it. The yeah. world knows. No. Giovanni is a nice but you don't man talk with claw about hands. You don't talk. There's well, two you're things. You're talking about it right now. No, no we're not. Too, we're professional not talkers. around him. And not, you don't go up to him and be like, what's wrong with your hand? That's what you do. You. No, I when he shakes my hand, I, in my mind, I just go... <laughs> 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 Everybody knows that. He knows that. I, we don't yeah. talk about it. He actually it. opens with it when he comes he up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's fine you with don't it. Do. You don't shake his hand, and you don't play rock, paper, scissors, because he's only got scissors and rock. <laughs> <laughs> he's paper free. He's a paperless rocket. He's E. All right. So did he you? The, he's a E rocket. Tell person. Butler. Uh, okay. Was, I would like to take this opportunity mm-hmm. to say that while I dispute these facts. Uh, oh, so these are what are the what are the alternative facts? Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, I said that wrong. <laughs> I've been watching too much news. While I dispute the allegations that have been made against me. Mm-hmm. I apologize if I ever made you uncomfortable. Oh, oh that's okay. I got you some champagne. God. He's don't just apologize. saying I'm trying to suck up to you, Chris. I think he's just don't apologize. He's impervious to insults. He gave you champagne insults. on ice. He can't insult him. You yeah. Did, uh, I haven't picked my kids up from school yet. I can't be drinking. He's trying to get <laughs> it on your yeah, good side. Fine. Everybody else yeah. does what it. What do you think I, makes the car line great? <laughs> yeah, right? Tracy's goes through the car line with a sick pack, comes out of the car line with recycled goods. Uh. <laughs> I make a lot of people nervous. Mm, it's do. true. And I don't mean to. I don't know. It's. I think it's how you dress. You make me it's nervous. It's all the low cut. Uh, it's like the DV to the P. It's the DV to the P. Because you know there's that many low I'm joking. I wish this was lower, actually. This is like not enough. So does Butler. But <laughs> anyway, He's I don't nervous. know. I, I cut it off with his sword. It, my voice or something. No, it's just because you notice and you say, like most or, people. Or, or maybe it's hmm. because we have taken the persona that you've created for her mm. and we've amplified it and villainized mm. her for years. Definitely well, part of it. Yeah, it could be that. Well, Butler's definitely <laughs> nervous. <laughs> I thought you were going to say he was mm-hmm. cleaning up around here because I made comments about how the kids were looking at all the dongers around here. Oh, no, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah do yeah, we need to get rid of the dongers? No, no. I'm just, I just Maisie kind of likes them. I tell her to <laughs> stop bringing them in. I just told them that the kids weren't going to come over here anymore. That, well, and I didn't mean that I, in a I don't mean want way. that. Well, just get rid of, throw away the trash, donger, so it's all trash. <laughs> yeah, like, I, I'm not like, mm, I'd rather well, have the dongs. Let's <laughs> like, I don't want my kids I'm to not, come. I'm not making a threat. It's not, I mean, um, well, that before came you out start wrong, but I'm throwing just saying. stuff out, let mm. me make sure you're not throwing out equipment. Mm-hmm. Because no I know right, you don't right. know your way. Microphones do look like dogs. <laughs> yeah. uh, yeah. <laughs> black dogs. Look at these dogs. <laughs> <He's weird. laughs> this rectangle dogs. <laughs> oh my God! Look at the silver <laughs> dog. <laughs> the big light dogs. Everything's a dog. Everything's a dog. Um, no, there was something. What was it? Was there? A, was there a toy with candy or like? It was big? bear. It was Barry. Uh, oh, it was Barry. Yeah. Yeah. Barry and yeah. the, and the yeah. dick, uh, dick machine. Yeah. 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 Then there's a giant dildo a band. <laughs> uh, stuck on the uh, side. Barry and the it, dick yeah. And then the boys have been eating those dog bone candies and. They're one, you know, soon are going to realize. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, so yeah, I just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't we're realize. We're not babies anymore. I think we have a big rubber dick over our sink. Yeah, right. I didn't realize. And it's so. Tom's screensaver. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. You're See, welcome. this is this place. We can't. It's not for children. Well, I mean, this place. I mean, it, it is. Well, Travis is fine. It with is it. a place. <laughs> yeah. it, 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 it is a place of business, maybe, but maybe we should clean up our act a little bit if we're going to have the littles running around. So. 
Um, we can I'll do a collect little, all the dicks later. A little bit of both. <laughs> so uh, a couple things. One, uh, I told Crystal to come by because uh, she's having this problem that you know I mentioned it a little bit on uh, you'll hear it on Monday's uh, Hollabox ACT, mm. but she has this jaw problem that mm. started back in November and it's been a mystery for uh, two it, months now. It's weird. not a mystery. It's just unfixable so far. Now, uh, hmm. you claim that it happened to you when you fell down at the Castleberry Roller Rink. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't even say it. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> I honestly, which is right up there, which is right up there, like breaking your ACL at the Super Bowl. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's like, <laughs> Did you slam your jaw on the ground? No, no. I, I didn't even touch my jaw. But what happened is, <laughs> I wanted to skate with the kids because yeah. they wanted to go on the big rink and they didn't want to go alone. So I just went, and I can like do it a little bit. I'm not good at it. But well, you can skate, right? So, yeah, I mean, but you that's can stand. it's totally different. The, your feet. My feet went out from under me, and I just completely went into the air and fell onto my hip and my elbow. Ooh, that Ooh, hurts. Yeah, and so, by the way, I just sit like Bernie Sanders <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like, and watch him. Yeah. Yeah. I had it all. I, I, had them there. On. Yeah. I, I was like, while I was getting up, and I was down for a good five seconds before I started to get up, and I... I looked over and he was just sitting there with big eyes, like way over there. He didn't even move. Jesus. Anyway. Um, well, what am I going to do? Run across yes. the entire. Well, I mean, the big Stop. eyes are because it's At hard to read the vibe. At least, least jump up and ask if she's okay. Right. Like, jump at least dab up the and, nipples. And, yeah. and just well, make a motion, like, ah, oh, are you, you know, are you okay? Like, let me know. You That's care. what I do with it, with Andrew a lot. <laughs> oh, and a lot of times it's a ruse because I'll do the half. I'll do, like, <laughs> if you're looking at my camera, I do this, like, if she falls, I'll go. <laughs> yeah. well, yeah. at least it's something. I don't that's even get up. Fake. No, it's it's. Uh, I just uh, I just stretch uh, my fat the... torso out. I just stretch it out. What? <laughs> I don't move at all. It's just a. It's an illusion, actually. It's... Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm not even moving. Yeah, well, right. least... that's that's the Roethlisberger. Like just like some you pump fake the yeah. Yeah. but yeah. it's not even a pump fake. <laughs> <laughs> Tricks no uh, one. Well, I felt right like when I hit the ground, I felt like from the bottom of my spine all the way to my neck, I felt it. Like I knew, I, but it didn't have any pain. Like I felt totally fine. But I don't know. Days later, five days later, I just woke up and I couldn't close my teeth together. Like hmm. they don't meet at all. None of my teeth touch right now for for like two. Well, months, we gotta get you some new months. teeth. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I offered right. to break them up. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so it's like every goddamn night I offer. <laughs> One day you'll take me up on it. And then, but you know, the, she starts with the everybody you know uh, on online says go to the chiropractor, right? The, like mm-hmm. because they uh, do stuff with yeah, the jaw. Yeah, my chiro- I love my chiropractor, and he actually he was like super confident. I've I've never been able to not fix. You need I a eat. shaman. Uh, well, I know one of those. <laughs> Don't they just give you? Of course it is. Well, I, we're, we're gonna need some smudge smoke. <laughs> we need I, some smoke. I have to, uh, like, uh, you know, for me, I just, I just go straight to the surgery. <laughs> like, there's nothing, you know, yeah. Like, yeah. like all this. You're gonna like, have to take my jaw out. You know, like the BS, the before where they're like, try this and try the uh, the remedies and the the things, and you have to do this. Well, yeah, the, you don't want to have surgery. I don't want to have. Surgery. I'm just saying it's the only thing that works. You're gonna have to go to no. Uh, then like you're gonna have to go to physical. Uh, you can do some mm-hmm. physical training on that. I'd rather do physical therapy or something. But I yeah, I went to the chiropractor a number of times, and he was like, "I got to be honest with you, I've never had this. You know, I've never not been able to fix this. So you need to go see your dentist." So I went to the dentist, and then he put me on muscle relaxers for yeah. two weeks. Oh, fix it. You're fixed. Oh my god, that's awesome. They made me so tired. I couldn't do anything. Yeah, like, that's awesome. Oh, it feels so great. I didn't Damn. like it. I didn't like it, and that didn't work. And then he was like, "Oh, I'm surprised this didn't work." And then he put me on. What? What did I go on just? You didn't take enough. You're too sensitive yeah, you to go. drugs. Well, if, if it works strongly on me, why do I need to take the, more? Cr- Crystal will be like, I took a muscle relaxer. I you know, have no alcohol. I can't even have a sip of wine. I'll die. Oh <laughs> I'm like, you understand? Tell you not to mix. I have not taken a pill with like I <laughs> put the pill in. I wash it down. Yeah. It's yeah. either alcohol or coffee. And it's like, never like water. They say well, you got to use water. I go orange juice because they say don't do that. I go orange juice, coffee, liquor. Oh, yeah. no, and, no, and, and then everybody that you you take 
take one swig of NyQuil and then you you have one uh, light uh, Amsel White and you think oh you're the God. Heath Ledger. I <laughs> raped like, a woman at a, at a CVS. Like, do you know I was how, out of my mind. Do you know how much <laughs> out, uh, wasted these people were when they died? There was like what, an insane amount of Xanax. Well, uppers, downers. Uh, mm. It's crazy. Anyway. I, I don't think you're taking your recovery yeah. uh, seriously. So then he put me on steroids. Yeah. Mm. Then, <laughs> I thought you looked pretty jacked today. <laughs> <laughs> Yoked. And he also put me on a no chewing diet. Mm. Oh, so that sucks. I haven't been able to chew in like, I don't know how many days. It don't how matter. Many days? It's been like 10 days. Two Life Crew said it best when they said, yeah, it don't matter, it. just don't bite it. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, yeah, well, this whole jaw thing doesn't uh, do well for me. Or the, oh, by the way, yeah. by the way, I got this. Yeah. Uh, okay, before you go off on your little tangent, you got a long pee, though. It's skinny. You're fine. So basically, uh, you got a big, big skin. We're here be- begging for somebody out there to give me an idea of what I should do next. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, because well, I, I, mean, like, there's, I think literally... I have to get an MRI. I think my next step is MRI, which is so expensive. Also, yeah. I need a free MRI. Please. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, that's yeah. Is that what we're yeah. doing? Yeah. Well, Seth, he must have a have... buy one get one by now, right? Jenkins, it's, it's like seven hundred bucks. Nothing, nothing says have we sh- have the coolest <laughs> show in the world. Like seven thousand. There's like a seven thousand. I'm like, no, it's seven hundred bucks. I thought it was seven thousand. No, no, I thought it was like three thousand. No, they're for like an MRI, bucks. right? You can get one for like 300 bucks. We just tell you no insurance or no? I'll pay for it. Does your insurance cover anything? Nah, yeah, nothing. nothing. Okay. We don't have insurance that covers See, anything. even my insurance isn't, like, even for this, I have a, a tooth that I need to get a cap on, and it's like $1,600 just for that. Yeah, right, you pay sixteen hundred dollars a month for insurance. They cover so cool. like maybe two hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah. It's insane. It's crazy. Um, so sorry, I'm not funny. No, no, no. It's a uh, no, no. Someone will I'm be sh- like, I, I had this problem. It's the point where it's really just hive intelligence. Now you put it out there, someone's probably dealt with a similar injury that they, you know, is a mystery yeah. because now they, when the medical professionals say like. I usually ninety nine percent of the time it works. I've never seen it not work. Mm-hmm. So like then it's like, well, you gotta ask people for their experiences because at this point, if a doctor says this is rare, then it's pretty rare, well, right? Like the TMJ, right? It's there's no like TMJ specialist. It's just the dentist. So yeah, then yeah. I, I don't know if he can't fix it. What am I supposed to do? My wife does TMJ tre- treatments. Yeah, but is it is she gonna? Is she do like it's massage? Internal. No, it's it's like she goes in your mouth. But oh. the, the, yeah. what's the way to go? The only way yeah, to nah, do nah, it. Very Blowing them cheeks. You should be good enough. Dan, we have your wife the end of it. Uh, online, too. Uh, oh, God. What is she weighing in on? She's giving me some advice, I bet. Oh, yeah. Was she going to get you one of those mouth guards? Oh, those are I, great. I've been wearing yeah. one of those, too. Yeah, that, mm. no, this is stupid. I, there's Wait. nothing worse. You roll over, you look at your wife, and, oh, I, <laughs> hey there, Wayne Gretzky. Nice to have you <laughs> laying in bed with me. Oh, that's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, oh, what she got? She's wearing, oh, this is wonderful. She's got a mouth guard in, like Wayne Gretzky or uh, Patrick Roy, the goalie, the legendary goalie. Yeah, yeah. And then she's laying there in a pair of, oh, period staying underpants with her tits hanging out. <laughs> Boy, that's great. This, this is what I signed up for. This is where I'm going. You're uh, lucky. You're lucky those tits are up. Go out in the backyard, blow my head off. Uh, Crystal, do you have one? Do you have a top and a bottom mouth guard or just one? Right now I'm in a, um, it's a medical splint, actually. So it's only. I have. Go ahead. Okay. So I have, I have splints as well, but oh. I have a top and a bottom, and that's what you need. I went to a oral surgeon. Welcome back to mouth to guards with our wives. <laughs> Thank you. Whoa. Wait, wait, wait. This is what the people. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need surgery. I know. You just I know. Go to the right person and run it through your medical insurance. It's not through your dental insurance. Listen, we got the joke. <laughs> <laughs> just told me. I was like, no. no. In order, and I didn't even know. Okay. I was like, no, not the Andrea, Why yeah, wasn't I consulted? In order, in order That's for. God. General. In order for Crystal to get the specialized mouth guard, <laughs> I'm gonna have to put on my military costume, <laughs> twist my mustache, right. and then march my ass down there and go to bat for the van. Oh, <laughs> oh, God. They came to me; they wanted to save some time, and here I am. Here's my friend, the penguin. <laughs> Is it you're saving time because it's cheap, right? <laughs> the mouth guards I have are smooth on the bottom. 
Didn't you say you wanted us to try and see what it felt like with my mouth guard? I did. Oh, my and, God. That yeah. sounds dangerous. What if something got dislodged? And- no, no. They're glued in there, I think. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know what it is. That's a choking Anything hazard. Anything to get a little action. <laughs> I'd put my fucking cock in a toaster <laughs> if it meant that the cock would come out of it. It's, it's, it's easy math. It's easy math. You take it this plus that equals something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You invent things like, why don't we try like acting like you? Yeah, anything. You're curious. It because I look over there, it's fucking Wayne Gretzky. I'm like, well, somebody's sucking my dick. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's you, Wayne. <laughs> Let's try it with Sands tonight. <laughs> Go Kings. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Uh, oh, uh, you hate when I talk with them in my mouth. Too. Yeah, because everything like I'm like we're watching a show, and then I'm like, oh my god, can you believe that Kylo Ren? She's like, oh, I did. It's not like Cartman. I'm not doing I, that. I I started like peeling mine off the other day in bed, and Tommy thought it was my teeth, and he got totally freaked out. It's <laughs> well, so you'll funny. Do, you'll do that at some point. I mean, the years down the road. The, uh, oh god, yeah. Andrea, send me your guy. Because I know okay. you went. You said you went somewhere. Just it did help, though. In, in all seriousness, it did yeah. help her. I grind. I chip. It, it, it's not that. Like the disc is out. Yeah. If, no, if you, you have touch, a bigger. Problem. If you touch my face when I open and close my mouth, my right side doesn't move. Ooh. It's uh, stuck together. Yeah, Anything totally it? it doesn't click. It doesn't move. Like it's just stuck. My, mine got real tight, and the muscles got real tight from stress. You know, like it happened after my dad yeah. passed away. You remember this, Andrea? Right? Remember when I went to the? Yeah. And, and it, mine, they, they, man, this doesn't help you very much but with mine it wasn't it's like glasses it wasn't severe enough for them to do anything and it wasn't but it was just bad enough to drive me like a little bit crazy you yeah. know like and they're like well it'll hopefully it'll go away and it did so i just want them to put me to sleep and then just it. take my jaw and just shake it around until oh. the disc pops back in and I mean, then you, i'll wake up you can drink like seven of these mike's hard lemonade yeah. seltzers oh. and i'll slap your cheeks <laughs> 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 Uh, <laughs> like Tom will do that. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, like don't just, we have the science? Right. Like, to just be... fix it. Why can't somebody? I just want to go somewhere and have them fix it. Why yeah. do I have to go through all this? Do well. Because most people don't know what the hell do they're well. doing. Yeah, but it's there. I hate therapy. That's what I'm like. That's the, I hate any time you have to do therapy for something. I just want instant fix. Yeah. Pills yeah, or me knife. Too. I don't have time for this. I, I <laughs> hate well, it. Like, okay, four, four months of, uh, of not eating, uh, not and wearing this mouth guard. You're like, God damn. <laughs> it's too much. I'm with both of you guys. I hate physical therapy. Like, they're going to want me to, oh, stretch your hip or do that. I'm like, I don't want to do that. Just fix it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't mind the, the therapy. Thing, it, the mouth guard thing isn't like you have to do it daily because my jaw will go out of place if I don't wear it. So, I mean, I didn't have to go to therapy. It's just you have to remember to wear the mouth guard. So they gave oh, me a mouth guard because I grind my teeth. And this tooth right here, you can't see it. But on the top of it, just from stress, and obviously this last year I had a lot of it, uh, even personally, and it, it tipped this teeth right here. No one can see it. You could only see it if you got like a magnifying glass and like really got on it. And it's just a tiny little one. It does bother me. He can shave it down and make it look perfect, which I'll probably do. But like I got to a point like where I went in there and I'm, I'm talking about like all this kind of stuff. And they're like, no, nah, it's just stress. You're going to have to decrease your level of stress. Or Yeah, I hate that answer. I do too. Like, he's, uh, he's mm-hmm. like, when you're walking around during the day, uh, when you feel your muscles tighten, relax them. And I'm like, no, I don't want that. You Does also that? don't feel <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Just uh, you're, you're telling me with a client showing a home, and you're going to be worrying about relaxing your jaw while you're talking. Like it's, I don't know. Just I, I don't just even a, know how to do that. Right? Like, how, I don't know how any of this works. Just freaking fix it. Yeah, yeah. That's what I God. give you money. You fix it. Oh, I like There's drugs. No though. magic pill. Well, Andrew, well, that, 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 so there's they, always a magic. So pill. they gave me a mouth guard that I'm supposed to wear, but when I put it in there and I start to fall, like I'm trying to fall asleep with it, it feels like I'm going to choke on it. Uh-huh. And I hate the feeling of having something in my mouth. So I did what you're supposed to do with a $430 mouth guard. I stuck it in the little blue case, and I shit slammed it into my fucking drawer, and I'll never wear it again. Uh-huh. And fuck that thing. You know, the one I'm wearing now is water. Like, it has it's water pillows in it, so the pillows are in the back teeth. That's cool. And, and if I squeeze it's hard on the... Cool. On the right, like the water will move to the left to like balance out that my jaw. Fun. But I'm I'm just squeezing so hard on it, I feel like I'm just gonna pop it. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, I, I like... don't think that. Go ahead. I mean, with that, you're still able to clench so tight that I don't know if that's helping or hurting well, Dr. you. Doctor Andrew, like, everybody, like, I'm with so you. With the... hard. 
With the mouth guard, though. It's just like uh, nothing more sexy than watching our wife take her mouth guard out like it's Steve-O taking goldfish out of his mouth. Yeah. You know and what? it's stunt. Or it's like, yeah. I'm sure you do plenty of sexy things, Tom. <laughs> yeah. You know what's sexy? <laughs> you know what's sexy when I'm sleeping at 1.30 in the morning and then a hard dick slaps my ass? Oh, no. That oh, is yeah. kind of sexy. <laughs> hey. You did that. Oh, that's Hold on. You want to know why we're in business? I'll tell you right now, brother. You did that to me. I'm sucking that dick. Yeah. Oh, my God. And I'll die on that hill. Well, you're asleep. That means you need something, and I'm gonna be there for you. Don't you guys need sleep? Jesus, Murphy. not with a uh, dick's heart. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's I know like what that. my body needs, and my body's telling me something. I go with what my body says, and, and we got a whole my body, my uh, next segment on romance. Believe me, oh, <laughs> we're gonna yeah. talk about this because I have a. It is stuffy in here, and Tim's it's getting, right. I'm burning up it's, now. It stinks in here. Y'all you need you. to run. The, it's 75 degrees in here. This has never baby, happened before. Baby right. down. Right. Usually it's 35 degrees. Yeah, Daniel. I feel like I'm breathing in all your. Your hot breath. Daniel told me that he <laughs> had uh, he found a flag that represents my disorder. <laughs> yeah. and no, I a listener other- found it and sent it to the show. I'm not taking credit for. I'm not a joke jacker. It's it, but it's pretty darn good. And I have a disorder, and now that uh, it's you know documented and there's a movement behind it, I can fall into if you criticize me for uh, this behavior. I mean, I brought this up crime. three months yeah. ago. But, uh, <laughs> we'll bring it back up. Hey, we'll babe, back. we well, may, we. I didn't know there was a flag. We may or may not talk about the 100th day of school, but I'll hang up on you, okay? I love you. Okay, I love you. Love you, too. Bye. Bye. Oh, yeah, that, that's uh, yeah, we, that's right. I want to talk about the uh, all the days in school and all the Yeah, we the might be BS. able to call her back. Um, but uh, as far as the... Oh, I also wanted to talk to Andrea about the damn uh, $20 hair dryer. That uh, does she have that yet? Uh, what? So no, just because I bought something doesn't mean the whole world knows what you're talking. Twenty dollar hair dryer. So I have a. I mean, she has a really expensive hair dryer. This and, uh, this yeah. is my point because I'll uh, trade you a lightsaber for that Dyson. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, there was a while back. Daniel uh, told me about this Dyson hair dryer yeah. that you wanted to buy, Andrea. Well, it's not about one. me. She loves it. It was a revolutionary thing, and uh, plus and, uh, she has really long, thick hair. Yeah, so she needs hair. a good. Mm-hmm. Blow dryer. Yeah, she'd had a con air for about the last 14, 15 years. And then uh, Daniel's like, there's this uh, revolutionary Dyson one. They have the uh, tech vacuum technology. They put a uh, Yeah, but she can dry it. her hair like as big as her hair. She can yeah, fully yeah. dry in like 10 minutes. Oh, it works well. And then uh, and then I'm like, ah. Oh, but it good. is way overpriced. And then I'm like, Crystal's got, uh, uh, you know, she complains about that uh, too and big hair. Uh, I'm going to get her this too. I'm like, let's just buy, I'm going to, we'll buy two and then we'll get them for our wives and then we'll be heroes. Mm-hmm. We were. Um, so then, I just want to also point out mm-hmm. that it was my birthday. Oh, uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Maybe you told me so, that. I was like, yes, what about idea? Yeah. So anyway. So you got a gift for me and Andrea for my birthday. Thanks, babe. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I just benefited. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, but we had, uh, you liked it at first. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Now, recently, uh, <laughs> Crystal, I don't know how she found it, uh, but she was found some Facebook ad, some Chinese garbage. Oh, yeah. They sell this hair brush that has a built-in hair dryer. From I've seen the, those. Yeah, it's I've internal. That. That, that, like, yeah. So the hair dryer blows out the spike. You know those spiky brushes? Yeah. yeah. It's All brushes are spiky. Well, you know what I'm saying? The round ones with the spikes coming like out. Like blow a blow wave brush. <laughs> like a troll's club. Uh, yeah. What? Yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. Like, it's like a Negan's bat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's okay. there's uh, you have to speak in a very or, or a brush. <laughs> no, 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 any, you have to speak in brush. very <laughs> specific terminology. Watch this, Negan's bad. <laughs> <laughs> so, Crystal ordered this thing, and then now has been oh, telling it's, the be- me, it's way better than the diaper. <laughs> yeah. been it's telling not. Me it's guess, guess what? She's like, it's not. She's like, look how good this thing is. She, she pe- peeks her head out the bathroom. She's like, I use it, so it dries my hair so fast. No, you Twenty dollars, <laughs> and then she's out to watch TV. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what the four hundred dollar goddamn? No, the twenty dollars <laughs> amplifies the feeling <laughs> of the, the, the actual brush. It probably can't. works, but the twenty dollars, uh, the value amplifies the feeling. No, it doesn't. Sand. I, I'm telling you, that Dyson still takes me more than thirty minutes to blow dry my hair. You're using uh, it wrong, then, because uh, it takes Andrea, who arguably uh, has more hair than you, ten minutes. Uh, that doesn't work for me that way. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, Does she use the? Well, well, listen, we already talked about mouth guards. Did she get hair the twenty dollar garbage one? No, I'm telling you, send me a link. I need to find out. Everybody's hair is. Different. It's That's because true, it's yeah. the it's the it's a brush, so I don't have to use the both hands. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Yeah. Like I can hold my yeah. hair with one hand and brush with the other, and it's doing. That's still too. It's hands. like I have three hands. Mm-hmm. 
No, because I can't hold my hair and hold a hairbrush and hold the hairdryer. Right. See what I'm saying? Oh. Yes. And I like to be able to hold my hair so I can... Well, it's you know, really all brush. about what it works you better. like. Yeah, Sorry. It, what works better Anybody for want you, the link? I 19, do. 19 do. bucks on Amazon. Yeah, but it's <laughs> not, <laughs> anybody that says or claims that this is a better product is incorrect. <laughs> I it disagree. may work better for you, but it's not a better product. No, it's um, not. It's gonna. It won't last for a year. Right, and there's no warranty on it. There's no recourse if something goes wrong. No, but wrong, if it breaks, so. I'll just throw it in the trash and buy another one for 19 bucks. But that doesn't sound like what somebody who saves water would say, because you're killing the earth by doing that. That's yeah, a lot of plastic and battery waste. What am I going to do? Listen, I haven't been able to use my shower in three weeks. Cause oh, my uh, God. It's what's been like six days. What is, is this marriage counseling today? What's going on? <laughs> yeah, yeah well, are you guys this okay? Is, this, is a, okay? this is a spicy, gripey day. <laughs> he only brings me in when he wants to <laughs> slam me down. How about go down? We're saving your jaw. <laughs> I'm adding some other things in that I have uh, on my list of You got bugs. grievances with your wife? <laughs> but like, but the Wait, more, that was December. The you more, can't do that after December. The more important thing is that we're uh, heroes because we're saving your jaw. So uh, weeks ago, Chris was like, the bottom tiles on the bathroom are gray. <laughs> and then I'm like, I'm like gray. Brand new. <laughs> and, then brand new. Thing, and then she's like, they're uh, they're discolored. And then I go in there, I'm like, I can't see shit. I'm like, Put your glasses on, old man. I'm like, ah, it's fine or whatever. So then we went through a stand of like, don't shower. I'm drying it out. I'm like, doing an experiment. No, I already did the experiment with the mold spores. So is the tile absorbing the water? Is that what you're thinking? There's I water the- behind the tiles. He oh, set no. up his machine. And they're soaking through. Oh. And so the, the tiles on the bottom of the wall are darker than the ones uh, at the top. Oh, no. Listen, I've been through and the machine. And I can see the cracks the in the grout. I can see the cracks in the grout. I know what it is. So, oh, no. uh, we, uh, I get down there. I'm looking. And you, then you, I'm, you needed to go with the color. That's, what it hides uh, the most imperfection? Mold, like mold <laughs> no, 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 just in general. <laughs> like jet black bathroom. Yeah. You know, I know that works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then you got to go matte <laughs> finish. Nothing shiny. Too many yeah, fingerprints. Right. Anyway, so uh, apparently, yes, there's uh, holes in the grout. And then uh, oh, the God. water leaked behind. There's some holes in this <laughs> grout. There's some <laughs> holes in this grout. And I'm like, how do you see? And by the way, Crystal noticed them right from like a pinhole. You should become a contractor. That's all. Awesome. Honestly. No, no, no. Contractor. No, I'm the inspector. Yeah, yeah, inspector. yeah do that. Yeah, yeah. Just start a construction company. Be really well done. Slow. <laughs> really <laughs> well done, though. Man, beautiful. They're pinhole grout holes that apparently absorb water. So that but sucks. You have to rip that up? No, no, no. It just, you, you just dry- have to let it dry out and then regrout yeah, yeah, yeah. it. But, but it uh, takes time for yeah. that stuff to dry so out. So in the meantime, it. we have to go uh, shower in the old... Uh, uh, where like uh, Tommy and Max's tub? Why don't you jump tub. in that tub? The, yeah, uh, I, tub. I did it one time. I got the hot tub though, and like so now I get in the, yeah, the tinier I, tub. I like your tub. I would get in the, the bathroom yeah, tub. Yeah, that's candle, a nice put tub. Some music on, man. Yeah, but uh, and we'll uh, take some time for yourself, or get in there with your wife. Uh, no, we yeah. can't both. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can't. So, it's, it's, it's a mini. It's the mini version. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be. It, uh, <laughs> no, you're not fucking. You're just like, sitting there and soaking in two of these white club cups full of water. <laughs> That's all the that time. Is not true. We it. <laughs> our like feet. our butts are together. <laughs> yeah, yeah, butt to butt. Oh, requiem for a dream. <laughs> I have a hot tub. No, that's romance. Is that romance? Farting into yeah. each other. Yeah, I feel like if you right. exchange farts. It's ba- like... Oh, back to romance because we're gonna call. Okay, we're gonna are take we gonna a break. Do, we're 40, we're take 45 in. Do you want to take the break and then come out of it and do this? Yeah, yeah. We're not making you late for anything, are we? My God. Were you finishing something with the tub? Or he's just complaining. Oh, okay. yeah. okay. <laughs> this is how it goes. No, General no, complaints. Now, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. Was the complaint so. there? Because, look, you got to be fair. Was the complaint there that your wife recognizes things that could potentially up the value of your home by recognizing them before they come b- become bigger be- problems. Big because problem. I feel like this is a great I, yeah. thing that you found this, and he's complaining about it, which Thank is <laughs> kind of dumb. Look, I'll I'll yeah. make fun of the $20 throw in the trash, and you won't let him leave the water on when he's rinsing dishes, because that's funny. This is not funny, because if you did that, I'd be like, oh, good find, Crystal. Right? Mm-hmm. Listen, Listen I, I, That's not funny. That's thousands of... No, well, I mean, he'd it, rather just be able to shower in there now. Like he would rather yeah. just de- like 
keep living the way he wants and deal with a bigger problem later, later. Uh, than prevent a problem now. Yeah. And that's in all areas of his life. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I, I just true. hope that all my problems accumulate to the ultimate problem at the end. <laughs> but you don't do it. You're the same person. <laughs> but but you don't. Then I don't have to worry about him anymore. <laughs> but you're the good one. <laughs> but I just ignore the gray tile into a full-blown black mold and then it kills me. And then I'm like, and then you just leave your family <laughs> better to deal with the bullshit? Better no, than dealing you guys already got out. You got out. In my story, you did. In my version, you guys got out. All the problems they start, bro. They start, They all so the whole castle Look, crumble. I don't know much, but I don't <laughs> think get out I don't before. think you and Tommy Van are gonna like stay in a black mold house. Maybe Max, because there's some similarities I see. <laughs> yeah. But I don't see you and Tommy doing that, especially Tommy. He loves his mom. <laughs> no, no, he's loyal though. He's ride or die. With to you though? Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, if oh, I, man, I can awesome. manipulate him into it. Be like. Uh, and limited yeah, Minecraft. I- <laughs> That's how they do it. You can play Minecraft for longer than an Tom hour. Tom opens here. the door at his apartment. And I'll really play with you. Dressed as the creeper from Minecraft. Like, What's up? <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's full Enderman. <laughs> Long arms and everything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you're, you're playing with uh, me and then some uh, mediums over there. <laughs> Little cheese. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Little Jesus, like Canadian Josh's son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. A few other people that we know. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the yeah, gamer yeah, group. The sketchier ones. The ones with one wheels. Yeah, yeah. Don't talk to the sketchy ones. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah they're, who are apparently the most romantic. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, we saw that thread, guys. And You're not uh, that geniuses. <laughs> Just, yep. Me and Mike Genius B. And playing uh, Tony Hawk. Are we going to talk? Where are the boys? And... and <laughs> Play with us. I'm like, <laughs> he's got a nose ring. That's pretty cool. Like, but then they'll realize it's sad later. <laughs> Just a little bit later. Tommy's like, you've got some, you've got boogers on your nose ring. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing, a, we're doing a Twitch podcast. <laughs> you're doing, oh, you guys do it. You're playing Twitch. Yeah, yeah. All right, but then my uh, sons, they don't want to be associated with it anymore because uh, they're like, ah, this is embarrassing to me. Now. My friends, uh, your your friend gets a we, Mike B fell asleep, Dad. We <laughs> tucked him in your bedroom. <laughs> we tucked him in. He falls asleep during every, uh, every Twitch show. Every Twitch show we do. <laughs> You want to take a break? Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. We'll come yeah, back yeah. and do some uh, romance. Uh, the, yeah. um, this is a BDM. Uh, this is a listener's band. Name of the band is Silver Alert, which, man, how was that taken? Or not taken? Right. What a great huh. name for a band. Yeah. And uh, the name of the album is Blue Hyundai Elantra, and it is a 20 song. Uh, I believe it was um, during COVID, they kind of tucked in and created a album that's 20 songs long. It's traditional punk rock. Really, really good. And listeners of the show, the name of the song is Get Off My Lawn. I'd like to think this is sort of like a tribute to all of our lawn care professionals out there. We'll be back with more A Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan right after this. Everybody here at TND Media uses True Leave. Um, there's locations everywhere around Florida. For sure, wherever you live, there's a True Leave location near you. A couple to- things, yeah. yeah. I mean, well, you, for those of you that don't have your medical marijuana um, recommendation, very easy. You can use the True Leave website. There's some uh, some really valuable information on there on how to acquire your recommendation. They will Super walk easy. you through it. Yeah, yeah it, it's very, very easy. Beyond that, just the products that they have, the people that they have on staff. I use the Colonial locations right next to Baldwin. Yeah, man, they're awesome. And I actually did something a little bit different this this week. I bought a Puffco Plus, which is a um, it's like an independent vaporizer. You showed you, it to me. It's, yeah, it's cool. It's very nice, and you can use it. With, I actually got to use a percentage off. I, I got money off just using points and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then I've, I've been using the wax concentrates uh, sativa to keep myself asleep. Man, that is a game changer. If you have insomnia, if you're dealing with anxiety, it's really, really good. I know we yeah. sling a lot of jokes on here and we talk about how fun. But as far as being medicated and dialing in maybe your back pain, your anxiety yeah. pain, for someone like me, knee pain, man, 
mean, it works. Dude, my it mom, works. my mom got her license, and she uh, the higher THC stuff make, gives her anxiety. She like, doesn't it, need that. she can just she, go CBD heavy. She likes the CBD heavy products, and they got tons of them at True Leaf stuff that uh, doesn't have the uh, you know the. Blow your tees off, as me and Daniel. You know what like I started using? Although I keep telling her, I'm like, you, don't you want to ride the lightning? I like that too. Uh, I mean, some, there's a time I, and a place, right? I, you like lightning, but you know what I used last that, night? Old man ointment. I used ointment probably, on yeah, my yeah, knee, yeah, yeah, CBD yeah. ointment on my knee, and guess what works? CBD ointment on my knee. I like just the 10 milligram sativa capsules they have at True Leaf. Yeah, they were great, baby? you know. Just okay. do you buy, and then, but they have the edibles <laughs> as well now too. There's an old man the in gummies, there. The last time it, I was in dude, there, dude. Those five milligram gummies they uh, have. Fantastic. They truly are the perfect amount. And they taste good, too. Yeah, you want a little higher dosage, take two. There uh, was an old man in there uh, when I was in there uh, grabbing this Puffco Plus, and he bought uh, eight chocolate chip cookies and eight brownies. Oh, and, yeah, and, yeah. and I looked at him, and he looked at me, yeah. and, and he and he goes, I have horrible back pain. And I was like, well, you won't anymore. <laughs> yeah, 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 100%. <laughs> and so, and I, I'm, I can't tell you how valuable it is when you guys go to the forum. It's on the top of the BDM page. Or on the on the front of TomDan.com, you say get a free oh, gift. Yeah. Well, you're holding us accountable for True Leaf, and it makes yeah. them happy to know that you guys are you know are listening. When you go there, uh, just take a picture of a product uh, of your receipt or whatever, and then fill out the form, submit it with your address, and we will send you a gift and with a huge True Leaf gift bag with a bunch of gifts in it and a brand new True Leaf camo. Yep. Uh, mesh back hat, super nice. Uh, we'll send that really to you. nice hat. We'll mail it to your house for free for whatever you buy. And here's the thing. If you buy anything and say, you know, I don't want anything, just email us your receipt or or just proof that you bought something. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's valuable because it shows us. Nobody's ever done. Look, we're just shooting straight with you guys. Nobody them, yeah. in radio or podcasting does this. Most of the time in advertising, you just advertise, and then you really have no way of being held accountable to let the yeah. advertiser know that it's working. No. We, we, we do. We want to show them. We like, want to show them that you guys are listening. BDMs are using True Leave, yeah. and we know you guys are, and we appreciate everybody who fills out the form, but that's how valuable we send you mail you a free gift that we pay for. You Indeed. Know? So, Indeed. Anyway, if you go to True Leaf, uh, tons of locations all yeah. across the state of Florida and more. But you know, obviously, Florida is where we are. Yeah. So it's True Leaf. Go to TrueLeaf.com if you want your recommendation. To have any questions, you can always email us to show at tomandan.com, and we'll get you started. We'll see you in hell. The name of the song is See You in Hell by Dan the Man and not me. Some other guy named Dan the Man. Welcome back to A Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan. I'm Dan. I'm Tom. Samantha's here. Butler's here. We are graced with the presence of one half of the Bart Merrick team. Miss Crystal Van is here to, I don't know, get her... Six month uh, dose of you know I don't know our silly oh, abuse. Fine, Basically, no. she comes in here. I don't know why we. Do. Oh, sorry. Sir. Oh, okay. no, uh, no. I almost said sorry, sister. Which I don't know why I said that, but um, but yeah, you basically, you, I think you hoodwink her. You say, "Hey, come by. We want to pick your brain about something," and then we just no, get her in here, and then it's abuse. I said, "It's don't. very, very mean." He, I do he, it. Sh- he shoots off the topics too, like really quick, because he's like, "I got to make sure I get all these in before she leaves." <laughs> I do it with Andrea too. Like she'll call in for one thing, and then I usually do everything within my power to make her look bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because she's really not bad. It's just she's a, good. You're implanting little pieces of evidence so yeah. that when things don't, evidence. you know... Like last the, night. Like, I'll know, tell you how exception. I'm crazy. Last night, I wish Andrea was on the line, but last night we were laying in bed, and I go... I was just laying there, and I go... I drink pee-pee. <laughs> what is... And then she goes, did you just say you drink pee-pee? And I go, I didn't say anything what? I thought you said you'd drink pee-pee. I didn't say anything. Are you okay? Okay. And then I go back, doing a little bit of gaslighting. Oh, yo, to little make her bit. think she's make crazy. Her think she's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. It's my new uh, thing. Yeah, yeah. It's my new thing. I started it last night. Losing her mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You want to make her think she's crazy because yeah. you're crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you're the good one. Uh, she, oh, Butler, I'm sorry. She'll know <laughs> one day. <laughs> I think she does. I think she knows. Well, maybe you uh, set this up because we do have our guest on line one. Okay. We have We're, a guest today? We do. Well, first I want to uh, try. This oh, is the yes. first time that I've tried the new uh, Mike's Hard Lemonade it's Seltzers. So on the go. Just call Mo. On the go. Just call Mo. On the go. Just call Mo.com. Need we say Mo. 
Um, oh, I just chugged a pineapple in the first segment. Now I'm going for the strawberry. Yeah, I was only going to have one too because I'm not. I haven't had a drink in, in 20 some days, and these are delicious. these are delicious. This is the lemon one. Now, guys, I, I'm just. Can I give an honest sure. review? I can give an honest review. Yeah. yeah, bit way bigger flavor than White Claw. Way bigger. More flavor for sure. Yeah, they're way made big. by the same company. Um, yes. A lot of people don't know that, but uh, so if yeah, you're, Mike's is the company that makes White Claw. Crystal Van is the original person that found White Claw before anybody and sort of passed I, it to me. Damn, you all owe yeah. me for that. That flavor is way stronger. It's good, though. What do you right? got over there? And I, I got the, uh, the pineapple. Pineapple, yeah. yeah, yeah. Pineapple's that good. Dude, that's now, really strawberries, good. Strawberries good. It is good. It tastes like strawberries. Yeah. See, and you know pineapple what? tastes like what pineapple. Lemon and lemon. Yeah. taste like snowberries. Oh, this, yeah, the lemon good. is good. Still 100 calories, 5% alcohol. There's actually one gram less sugar in yeah. these. Only one gram of sugar. And we don't understand that. We tried to do the math in the break with both. Gluten-free. Here's what I would say. If you... Because I've heard people say this. Ah, White Claw, I don't like it. It tastes like watered down like a drink. Okay. You, you, would, you might like this. And for those of you that say, like, ah, I, Mike's full. Hard Lemonade's, yeah, it's a, it's a little too sweet for me. Well, maybe you like regular White Claw. But or cut it half and half, you, buddy. Yeah. I drink mine over ice, so talking. this is perfect because sometimes it dilutes it my White Claw bit, flavor. Yeah. This will be perfect, but uh, I like this line. And I drink a lot of hard seltzer. Um, we th- Only the recycling men and my wife know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so just so you how bad know, it is. I had Andrea check around here. Uh, of course, everybody's a little bit different. ABC Liquors is out of the mics right now. They should be getting in some today. And we found this on the end cap. Um, it was not cold, but we did find it on the end cap at your local Publix. So good luck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, and use uh, hashtag TDABC if you buy some of this at your local ABC. Uh, but again, it's uh, the, the the company White Claw it was made by Mike's Heart Limited to begin with, and they specialize in flavors. Mm-hmm. So. Finally, somebody who's honest on their package. I'm looking at the box right here. It says the full flavored hard lemonade seltzer. Yeah, that's exactly what it yeah, is. Yeah. It's got more flavor. And with the less sugar, which is crazy how they did it. You know. All right, so um, I put a post on the BDM page asking uh, if they or their spouses are romantic, and uh, I think you asked for males specifically. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I did yeah. ask for males. Well, gay. But, but I but I did say if you're you know if your spouse uh, you know, open up the gay men too. If you're if you're those are also males. Uh, no, no, no. Say, but yeah. I I said if uh, you know any males, you know, you're or right your spouse, about that. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I forgot. So male on male the. Uh, <laughs> Because I'm I'm a little bit confused on to, how to be a romantic about what man. romance is. <laughs> yes, yeah, he yeah. Is, this is a yeah. problem. Well, I don't know if I could give you the uh, hmm? I, I don't know if I could give you an actual definition of romance if put on the spot. Well, I think the answer is ask your wife what she considers romantic, and then do those things. Well, yes, because yeah. it's going to be different. Where are we going to find people? his wife? <laughs> there's, well, there's a lot. Idiot, Sam. The number You're one, fired. I think. <laughs> thing, <laughs> but, uh, Every time you come, you bring me in here to do these things. Ma? All the listeners. Look at me like I'm some uptight, you know. That's what I was trying to say the last segment. Uh, yeah, I want to make sure so that's, that we like, don't uh, execution style murder you today. That's not fair. The only time I come in here is when you mm. want me to talk about how I, I don't like frog. <laughs> so you don't like frog, and he told us you love frog. <laughs> so, <laughs> fuck, man, this is already. Oh God, cancel the shirts! My God, yeah, we had no, the bar bar team <laughs> frog, frog like for a, life. Frog <laughs> like you stole it. So then they say, I, more, like, oh Tom, you know, but they were late. Poor I guy, think poor guy, he doesn't of, get frogged. Oh my most God, most of their old, old ladies don't <laughs> like frog either. Like, you got, what you got? Concrete Mike was one out of a million. Andrea like, hates like, frog. frog every night. No one else gets time. She's like, this is gross. You're the only one. That looks like a frog. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she didn't say that. She didn't say that. But I, I deserved it. I deserved it. See, I'm mean to myself. And but and and it's become apparent just if you read the BDM thread. Oh my God, we're parents. Uh, <laughs> oh, where's Maisie? <Basie? laughs> that uh, if you go back and like, there's there are over 200 comments in the thread that a lot of men also don't know what romance is and are confident that they are romantic. <laughs> and I would argue that they're I, not. I also like the guys that, and I'm not going to blow up anybody's spot, but I also like the guys right. that are like, well, I know this one guy and he's fucking everything, Mister Romance. <laughs> yeah. That's not the way it works. That's not, That's uh, not uh, the uh, way it also, works. And they're, they're like, uh, well, I proposed to my wife at a basketball game, and then <laughs> we got married in Vegas, and I'm like, I'm pretty sure that was Charlie Murphy. <laughs> That's the uh, Kenny Powers jet ski of romance. <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't think that's you know, but then I guess it's the subjective. Truck, the trucker had, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like I, because I think men have a different now. Uh, Crystal, uh, just uh, it's just can you by tell us the what, you, what you find like? What well, is, 
uh, no, I've, no, that's that. No. Is that something you're not he, comfortable sharing? He is. I'll give you an example. Okay, I'd love mm. it. When he wants to approach me, he Six comes. You know that. You know this face. Yeah, he the does? boner in the back. Yeah, well, there's that. But <laughs> that's check. like. My, I know oh, all come men. On, don't talk. I know about all it. men do that. You that's, brought me you know here to talk about called? this. You know what that's called? That's Wait a called, second. I think oh. that's called the Cincinnati stick up. Give me all your dough, Shay. And what you're feeling in your back is some cold steel. No, he'll he'll come at me like I'll be standing at the stove and then. I don't know how to do his faces, but oh. tell me if you recognize <laughs> oh. if you recognize this face. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, oh. he'll come at That's me. That's the Daniel my dick face. No, I do that to everybody. Hold I, on. I do that to Butler when I want him to go on a client meeting. <laughs> okay, so why are you doing it to me when you want uh. me to feel connected to you? So he does this. He comes at me like this oh. with oh. stiff. Stiff, oh. ninety degree angle arms. <laughs> Don't tell him that. Oh, it's either sex or pizza so rolls. Then I'm like, what is this robot coming at me? Like, so okay, I, I'm I like, don't. It's <laughs> awkward. Yeah, I just I, I don't know where you initiated. I don't know what. If Must I'm, put if, plug <laughs> into receptacle. Travis, Travis, come oh. sit next to me. Whoa! Oh, oh, you never asked. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is too far. Okay, Friday. He's got, he may right, have COVID. You're me, okay? okay. <laughs> you're crying on the couch. <laughs> this is him. No, come on. Oh, that's that's, that's an exaggeration. No, that's <laughs> what I do, too. I don't want to... No, you, you I know what? In his arm. defense, who wants to hug somebody who's fucking crying? That's gross. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get tears all over it's my shirt. Just, he's, no. a, he's a concrete robot. He's just made... <laughs> he's not made of um, no, new he's shirt. No, Because I do robot. that sometimes. I don't know how to <laughs> okay, console you. I've already, does that make you... What, it's what, what, not like, only the consoling, though. It's also everything else that is any sort of affection. connection. No affection. With yeah. Our house has zero affection in it. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought that you, you were, were too far. You wanted to talk <laughs> about our romance. I'm like a monster. <laughs> <laughs> I live in a goddamn concentration camp. <laughs> well, Your favorite no. time is when you play as a monster. So no, maybe no, you are a monster. Ted there's a lot. Bundy. There's a lot of affection. <laughs> Ted Bundy was actually very affectionate to his wife. <laughs> well, I, I and to the kid. bodies of his victims. I didn't mean mm. without, he was killing it. with the kids. I meant uh. between you and I. Like, so I, but that, I do no, the no. same thing with Andrea, though. Like I will tell you, in his defense, a little bit for most guys when andrea's like andrea cries like at the drop of a hat she's very emotional i don't necessarily want to be hugging you for everything you go crying about so sometimes it's very awkward for me because i'm like and this sounds really insensitive but sometimes i'm like why the fuck are you crying about something that fucking stupid i am not gonna give out one of my fucking glorious and very valuable hugs because you're crying over something not valuable at all oh so it depends on what the level of what they're crying i like that i realize i'm the bad one how the hell are you guys still married like i'll give a hug for like relative a dad yes i like uh, i need a level 10 cry but if you're crying because you just had a tough day i'll give you the pack okay how often do i cry not very often. Uh, so if well, I'm crying, that you see, yeah. I need somebody to support me. I guess. No, and I not know. sit over there Butler's staring at me, scared. <laughs> yeah, but Butler's what, moving what if, in. What if you're crying over something that it's like uh, something really bad that happened, but it was so long ago that I'm like, oh, I still crying about that. <laughs> Does that do him? You should not have said that. Yeah, especially this week. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke show. I don't know. It's a joke me. All right, no jokes. Oh, 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 you fucking babies. I didn't realize that was a joke. We do have a guest on the line that we need to talk to before she has to go back to work. Okay, sorry about that. Her name is Claudia. So, um, anyway, uh, Claudia emailed Sam yeah. because she claimed that her husband is romantic. Fiance. Because I started to look around and, babe, look at all of our friends and stuff. I'm looking at all of them like, none of these uh, motherfuckers are romantic at all. Right. Like, none of these guys are doing the no, things I, you I say. I can't say that I am. Like, uh, Turkey Leg, Fernando, Porno, all these guys that I know. I'm like, they're not doing it. What about so- Pudge? Uh, Travis not doing it. Daniel's no. not doing it. Punch P- is not, doing, is it. not no. doing it. No one's doing it. So then I'm like, no one's doing it. No, <laughs> you're asking me something. It's impossible. I am not married to those people. <laughs> I don't know. Fernando, Damn, everybody. Fernando looks like he he's might. He's Fernando's super romantic. No, yes, he yeah, is. but then he'll punch he's your. Got, uh, and so is Zach. He's he'll got a punch romantic your dash name. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and you know he's else, too fiery. You know what else is John? Is. You know what? That romance turns into punching. <laughs> not that. Oh, no. Not that he does that. I'm just saying that's what happens. You're too fiery. Punch and gums. <laughs> yeah, everybody knows. Anyway, so uh, Claudia, 
Hey. Uh, um, so, Claudia, now you claimed you sent Samantha an email. Hold on, that, hold on. No, 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 no. Huh? When you say that, what? you're setting Claudia up for failure. Right. Claudia, huh? tell us your story. <laughs> yes. You don't say, you, you claim. claim. Yeah, you oh, me. <laughs> We're not Rush Limbaugh, dude. You don't need to, you're not wearing her out. <laughs> well, she is uh, representing the opposing side. <laughs> so I have to, I have to, to her. I have to degrade her. Claudia, tell us your story. <laughs> All right. I basically just sent Sam in a few things that I thought off of the top of my head. Um, you know, we never just go into fucking. You know, he will start with massaging, you know, my body a little. Um, and then we get into it. So it's never anything quick. Um, he just always takes my thoughts and feelings into consideration before making, you know, a decision. I really like Even that. if it's not something that even crosses my mind. Um Hold on. Uh, one, I was going yeah. to come in your mouth, but I decided to <laughs> no, come in the trash can. Claudia, I I do yeah. ta- I take my wife's th- uh, you know thoughts into con- and, and whatnot. Uh, all yeah. this, you know, all, whatever I'll take whatever that shit is. <laughs> I take them. I'll take my wife's bullshit into consideration. <laughs> right, you're a terrible person. No, no, like <laughs> she like when she asked me like what do you want to eat tonight? I'm like well what do you want to eat? And she's like well, no, what that's do you? Not taking her feelings into consideration. I'm like anything you want, I don't care. She's like you don't want to make up your mind. Oh, no, all, all you're doing is putting the responsibility on me to make every decision in our house, which is more stressful for me. <laughs> well, that's what I so, want. So what you say is, when, like when my wife goes, my that's wife will go, what do you want for dinner tonight? And I'll go, what do you want? Oh, let me rephrase that. What does uh, what do crows typically eat? <laughs> <laughs> so No, I don't say Claudia, that. Claudia. Well, <laughs> I don't. When so one of the examples is uh, she says uh, when they first decided to move in together, he hired an apartment hunter to find an apartment located close to the office I work at so that I can have a short and safe commute. Oh, I didn't even request or ask for he's this, thoughtful. but it was nice that he kept me in mind. He's spontaneous. He's always willing to try something new with me. Example, we went through a vegan phase for a minute. Like, and oh, he, he doesn't, tries and Claudia, new things. Yeah. That's nice. Claudia, he doesn't complain. I like that. I he doesn't even complain, think about that. right, about the vegan phase. He oh, just does it. Yeah, like he's open to any ideas I might have, and likewise, I'm open to whatever he wants to try out. See, I like that. I'm oh, not, I can well, say honestly that, that I am not that <laughs> way like to. Pegged. I'm not that way to Andrea. You know, well, like any idea she brings up, normally, I'm just trying to be honest, guys. Normally, if Andrea's like, "Hey, I heard of this new like, there's this new place down the road. It's like a tea shop that has vegan sandwiches," and I'll be like, "Fuck that place." That's what I hear. And I ate the the. Uh, Carrots too the other night. No, he said it was like he said it on was cauliflower <laughs> that you had ladled carrots too. <laughs> so I ate it that. was carrot pesto, and I, and I didn't. <laughs> and even, it was so good. Yeah, I, was, I, I didn't even argue or well, do you anything. Know it was so good. <laughs> and, and he said, he was, said he ate burnt sausages afterwards. He said he ate smoldering burnt sausages to get the taste that of he stuff. burned. By the way, yeah, yeah. Well, because I forgot because, because he then, said it was so difficult. <laughs> Make it through the carrots too. And then I uh Krista got mad because I was cursing in the math that I burned my goddamn sausages. And then, <laughs> then, they, uh, and then he said he goes, the outside was chalky, but the inside was delicious and it took the taste out of my mouth. <laughs> so Claudia, now you say a uh, full body massage you're before making love. Before yeah. making uh, love. And I just wanna how before full body butt. like I because I do massages too. Yeah. And I, I, I rub the shoulder, and I'll rub the shoulder, I, but my hands what? get I numb. I have to in my house. If I don't do any of that, I'm not getting anything, and I hate that. Sometimes I just want to pull my dick out and put it into something. <laughs> I don't want to have to work for it. God damn it. I'm not a busker. I'm not fiddling in Central Park for coins. Just please, for the love of God, let me put it in that hole. And I don't want to have to rub you. Please, I did other shit. I'll do anything else. I'll fucking clean the wilds. I just don't want to rub you. My hands are arthritic. I type for a living. The mouse hurts the right hand. And it's and it's like starting an old weed eater. If you do it the wrong directions, the wrong steps, then it won't work at the yeah, end. Yeah, well, if you stab you know, your thumbs into my bones, that's not going to help. So. Yeah, what is it with the you bones? Know what? Like, I don't know. Oh push the ball Do you guys times? know what bones and muscles are? Right? They <laughs> don't know. He's, like, he's just not paying attention, and I that's have the de- point. I have determined that we are all the same, because if you do the bone stab, I, God damn it, I get in trouble for the bone stab. Everybody's the same, nobody's unique, and nothing is good. So, Claudia, what <laughs> Claudia, type of Claudia, I have a question massage? for you. On Friday, cancel. I'd like to ask Claudia What's a question. That? Claudia, does your husband tell you that he loves you? Oh, shit. Oh. He does. Does he tell you that you look good sometimes? 
Mm-hmm. Yes, every day. So, Does he tell you every day? Every day. But then you're every 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 day. Impossible I'm not going every day. <laughs> I'm not finished. Claudia, does what? he tell you that he enjoys talking to you or that you um, he likes your personality? Yuck. Yeah. Does, and so he makes you feel like he makes you feel like he really loves you. Yeah, but yes. you have to really love somebody to make them feel like you <laughs> no, really love them, God. and I don't really love my wife. <laughs> I'm just telling her that it's in order to die. Claudia, the chat would like to know how long you and your fiancé have been together. I guess they think that has oh, something. Fiance, sorry. Oh, fiancé, yeah. sorry. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh, no. oh, I did the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> we all did the beginning. <laughs> Wait, we have no, to do nothing. This is a hood week. This will be done. Stop the steal. <laughs> <You're>, this is <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> Fuck this. Get no. mine. Get my horns. <laughs> now I know how they feel. Now I know how they feel. Fiance. I'm stealing his mail. <laughs> what? <laughs> How long have you guys been together? We've been together for a little more than three years. Oh, all right, all right. Okay, well, it's a little long. But now, when you talk about full body massage, I mean, he's, he's not doing the, the toes, whole toes, head to toe, like, baby. Yeah, that yeah, like, what? How long? So, oh no, let me. Yeah, let me clarify. So it's not always a full body. Sometimes he'll concentrate oh, on boy. the areas that I find most like pleasurable. Or let's say I'm sore after a workout. I just want him a to workout? focus on, Gross. on you know, my back or my. Size, you know, oh, yeah. whatever store, and then we get into it after that. Nothing How big are long, your titties? You know? <laughs> stop, stop. No. Oh my god! Oh, stop, come on. I have what? another question. Yeah, I have another question. <laughs> I fell into 90s radio. I forgot. Two mics are lemonades and Dan's going 90s. I forgot what we were doing. I was going to have you sit on a seat. Oh my god! You have more tattoos than normal. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, oh. Claudia. This, this one says John three sixteen. <laughs> Claudia, when he massages you, is he doing it for you, or is he doing it so that it will lead to what he wants? Oh, that's why I do it. Honestly, <laughs> I think it's both. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. He's not. He's not that's what I super mean. excited. He, like, you, 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 sounded just, right you sounded like Tommy Van. Like he was like, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Like a little kid. That's, he's like, a, that's ah. what happens because then I'm, I'm sitting there, while I'm like, well, just I'm like, God, I'm so horny, and then I'm like, I know, I remember. And I'm like, okay, this, this is yeah, how my are mind you works. doing it? Like I'm doing, what? and then I go, God damn it, when's she gonna turn over? And that's my signal to let me know I can stop fucking rubbing. And now. Like, you're doing it wrong, Dan. You're you're into the massage porno. That's wh- how you got to make it. You got to start with the massage, no, she finish like with the no, happy she ending. Wants yeah. Therapeutic fuck. She wants yeah. me to be like, yeah, start like, therapeutic she, and she then work it sexy. No, but you guys are doing it wrong. No, but this is butt. Here's yeah. the pl- no. This is the problem because I'm sitting there on the couch and I'm like, God, I'm so horny. I, and then I'm like, I remember. I'm not a complete idiot. Uh, I'm like, I, I remember what she said. Like, quit just coming at me with a boner. <laughs> Stop coming at me, bro. And then they're like, that's I want me. Listen, I've, I've heard it before. I know that's not what she wants. So I'm like, don't do that. Start with the massage. How was your <laughs> day? <laughs> well, yeah, like, How the was thing. your if you only want if you only want to talk to me or touch me when you have a boner, yeah. that is not romantic. <laughs> 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 because then I'm like, yeah. all right, I'm going to start with the massage, like she says. Uh, there were, then no, I, there's two then ways to her. touch a woman. There's when you touch. Okay, and then she turns to me. And she's like, mm-hmm. "What are you like?" And, like, and then I'm like, "You're scared." <laughs> I'm like, "Oh shit!" I'm like, "What? I, I can't. Nothing. I got nothing." And then it's I'm like, like "T-Rex, I'm like, do you do you want a massage?" She's like, "You just want to fuck me." And then I'm like, "No, I don't. I don't really want to give you a massage." And then she's like, and she's like, fine, then give me a massage. And then I give her, I'm like, fuck! Angry <laughs> massage! <laughs> that is exactly no, what you do! I'm giving you a massage for goddamn nothing! Because you're lying! Because you're lying, you're like, oh, I love giving massages. I'll give you a no strings attached one. That's what I say. I go, no, it's totally no strings attached. I'm like, fuck, I need the string! <laughs> the string is wrapped around my boner. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. That's perfect. So, that, there's Claudia. only two ways I'll touch a woman. If I'm touching you, See, I have a boner. The other way I'm touching you, I'm dragging you to safety. There's now, only two ways. Now, That's it. With a with a with a romantic husband, I I have seen uh, certain men that are more romantic. But the downfall is they, they cry a lot over things. They're more yeah. in touch with their emotions. I cry a lot, but so, I'm, not, I'm not romantic. Yeah. <laughs> so you're I think I'm just crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you're just generalizing. <laughs> Uh, what? You're yeah. just general. Well, I'm at, I don't yes, agree I, with you. I don't know. I don't, either. I don't know. I'm just that's why I'm at. But I think that oh, I, a lot I of think guys. He's right though. I think most guys that if you tick the boxes of being like, I think if you gave them a more test emotional. that they're more romantic, they're probably they cry more. I, mm. I would agree with that. They're not traumatized or something dead inside there. They're able to express to emotions to... without having to repress it. You know, they're they're functioning correctly. So, is your husband more emotional than the average man? Um, so while I do think it's okay and normal for a man to cry, I've actually, you know, he's never cried in front of me that I you know. Um, he's more of a, he's a pretty chill guy. You know, I'm the one that, you know, that has the anxiety and, you know, things like that. So he calms me down. We level each other out. This guy sounds great. He does. <laughs> this guy sounds uh, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Glad you like nice him. Uh, what does he do? Well, how's he with birthday presents and Christmas presents? Is all his presents thoughtful and like good? Uh, is are are you going to try and get him on that? I'm the best <laughs> present giver. No, no, no. I'm, just, I'm wondering if that if there's any correlation between good present giver and romantic. Yeah. What did guy? he get you? Did for he Christmas? buy you a set of Rothers? <laughs> <laughs> okay, for Christmas, he did get me the items that I wanted. There were already I- items that I guess were planned, like, you know, a bicycle, um, things from my office. But he also proposed. <laughs> so that was pretty cool, too. Oh, that was really cool. Congratulations. How did he do that? How was the uh, proposal? Did a dove swoop in with the ring and land on his head? No. Was, was he on a camping was truck? Normal. Black natural no. <laughs> <laughs> Did he, did he put it in a Christmas tree and then ask his uh, wife sick with the flu to plug the Christmas tree and to find the ring? She didn't find it. And then you forced her to go to Charlie's Steakhouse afterwards and gag down a old 96er? <laughs> no, it was pretty normal and chill. We were just opening our Christmas gifts, and then he proposed to me in our living room. All right. All right. Uh, baby, I want to give you... Strings, no strings attached massages for the rest of my life. How yeah. how is the intercourse? Uh, is that, is, <laughs> is that, is right at it. You know, right. I, I, I know, I know it was a little inappropriate in asking your breast size, but how big is his dick? <laughs> no, it's, 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 I'm saying, was it? Uh, is he good in the bedroom? Does he have motion in the ocean? It's really great. Mm. Uh, does he shave the shaft? <laughs> you got my, I got hair growing all the way to the tip. <laughs> all the way to the tip of the fortune. My penis looks like somebody stuck one of those big red dodgeballs on the tip of the tidiest Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I got that going for me. Oh, man. <laughs> well, nice. Claudia, um, uh, give us a call back in two years and tell me if it's still yeah. going. Okay. Yeah. All right. I will. Once we have kids, I'll give y'all a call back. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That's That'll ruin your sex life. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was a thing, too. That'll dry up. That'll ruin it. You start getting busy. Next thing like, you know, you'll be slapping in those mouth guards <laughs> and off the Betty Bye. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. See you, Claudia. Love you. Bye. Mm-hmm. All right. See, I think we've uh, done a lot of bad today. <laughs> a, lot of so today. Too. a lot of bad today. You know, I don't think I'm getting I, fucked tonight either. <laughs> it kind of bums me out because I look forward to that. It's like Little Caesars pizza and getting fucked. You mm. mentioned the um, her engagement. Yeah. And then you said, was it at a camping trip and was he blacked out? Uh-huh. And at that moment, I was looking down here at the white claw rug and I Ooh. said to myself, oh... That's why we're here. What do you mean? What, 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 like I, what if White Claw pays us a lot? <laughs> were you like the only reason that you guys got married was because he was black? Out no, but <laughs> of, no, but of course. Like, what am I? What do I expect? You know? <laughs> oh my oh, god! Oh, wow. <laughs> that just took us. <laughs> I, you know, well, hold on. Now, hold on. Now, we're break and that's then pull reality. You proposed to me first during our proposal. He insulted me for like ten minutes, and then he proposed. Hold on a second. I was doing a roast. <laughs> and, and you don't roast someone before you propose to them. I was what there, you? Sam. I was there, and he. <laughs> I don't know if he was insulting Tara because I was blackout. 
<laughs> no All right. So I then have you, no uh, <laughs> and then he peed. He peed our um, sleeping bag. <laughs> oh come on! No, don't, <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, don't say that part. God, then, you're romantic. And then, so when I got into the sleeping bag, and by the way, it was 28 degrees. This is there. when two become one. You, you oh sleep in the river God. of. Uh, it's like when you pour so. the sand in the glass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I got into the wet sleeping bag, and it got my socks all pee pee wet. Oh. Oh. And what then, kind of socks? And then I hopefully for the hospital. Walked, I love those <laughs> with a grip. <laughs> I walked alone in the dark to the campfire and I sat and slept by the fire. This alone. is the saddest story. I've Wait, ever on your heard. engagement night? On the night I got engaged. Oh, I love no that. one could have a. Did worse. you keep looking at the ring? <laughs> <and see. laughs> Why well, you said all the bad parts? <laughs> well, what's the good parts? You tell us. Well, there was a, you know, you fell and broke your fingers. <laughs> uh, well, they, uh, they were fractured. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Andrea had the flu and she ate that big steak at Charlie's Steakhouse because I said we were celebrating. And then um, when we got home, she uh, she uh, I believe she fart puked it all out because she had the she had the flu. Yeah, and then I was like, "What the fuck's wrong with you? This should be a happy day." I was a younger man. I didn't know. Uh, you I, know okay, uh, let me uh, just so, say this. Yeah. He did a he did a roast, and it was really funny. And he roasted all of our friends. So I thought. He was just roast, you know, roasting, well, and, then he, he and then he pulls me up, and I'm like, "All right, great, I'm gonna right, get roasted." Your turn, yeah. mm. And he did roast me, and then he proposed, and I was extremely happy. Okay, yeah. So and a little out you. of context, but <clears throat> still, uh, I'm, I'm glad we're married. There was, it was sweet, uh, and at one point, I held the ring, and then Grizz let it float down the river one time. Oh, just to, they were trying to be funny. Uh, you probably didn't even know about that. They're tossing it around so you wouldn't find it. Oh my god! Oh, yeah, they were trying to like play, uh, you know, what do you call it, like hot potato, because they didn't want you to let on. Like I was gonna be looking in somebody else's bag. I guess I don't know. We were all fucked up. You know, <laughs> <laughs> are you crazy? I was taking oxycodone. I was smoking weed. I called it Cobra Plus. When I was like, you gotta try this. You gotta take oxycodone and then smoke a ton of weed on top. You feel like a god. I'm like, yeah, of course you do. It's you know, two really powerful drugs. You shouldn't be doing that, man. I'm like, I don't care. All right, good luck on the marriage. Mm, my canoe takes off down the road. How dare you? I never said. You shouldn't be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I would never say that. In fact, we were Team Cobra Plus. I wrote it on all of our camp gear. It still says that. All right. Um, should uh, let's take uh, another quick break, and then uh, we'll come back and we'll do a bunch of voicemail. And we got. I'm glad your wife's out. here for this song. Okay, so uh, No Effects put out a brand new song yesterday. They have a new album coming out called Single Album. It's because they tried to write a double album at the beginning of 2020. But Fat Mike says that um, everything kind of went to shit. And he only had enough songs for a single album, which is why it is called Single Album. The lead single from said record is called Linoleum. Mm-hmm. It is a group cover of their, um, their, ba- uh, of their r- extremely famous song, Linoleum, probably their most famous song. I saw that. And one. yeah, and they have a video for it where they show you basically hundreds of bands covering the song. Um, Avenged Sevenfold is in the actual video playing it. And I, th- I think they may actually, I don't know if they played on the record. I know Hefe is quite the metal uh, guitarist anyway, but they added new elements to it, kind of refreshed the song. It's kind of cool. Um, you can check it out at uh, fatrecords.com, but I'm going to play it right now. So here you go. I know, Tom, you like this song. Kind of ties into the camping trip and everything. Here's Linoleum by No Effect. We have so many listeners and so many people that are connected with the show that have bought a car from Sport Subaru, Sport Mitsubishi, and from Don Mealy Chevy. They've raised over $50,000 for the charities like Children's Home Society of Florida, the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. They do so much good in our community, and we have to thank all of you, the listeners of our program, for buying those cars. Yep, and go talk to Mike Stacks if you're looking for a Subaru Mitsubishi right there on West Colonial Drive in the heart of Orlando. Indeed. No dealer fee if you're going to buy a Subaru. Also, so dmchevy.com is right there. Don Mealy Chevrolet in Claremont. Talk- J.C. Harrelson. Yeah, yeah. Talk to J.C. And uh, also sign up for their uh, awesome contest. It's all for charity. You buy tickets at c8corvettecontest.com. You can win a brand new one of those mid-engine Corvettes. Yeah, good luck finding one now. This may be your only yeah. way to get one left. Or talk to J.C. about buying a Chevrolet. So it's Sport Subaru, Sport Mitsubishi, West Colonial Drive, and Don Mealy Chevrolet in Claremont. You could totally freestyle over this if you really wanted to. Tom Vance, a brand new year. 
Tom Van. I am here at the party. I'm the life of the party. When I'm here, we party hardy. Tom Van likes to massage his wife. If she doesn't like it, I'll get out my knife, hold it to her throat. <laughs> then I get arrested. What do I tell Dan? Company's failing. Uh, Got arrested for assaulting my wife. It's a bad freestyle. Yeah, and I do this. Great. I do this like the whole time. Uh, like I'm like a kid scooting his, uh, or like a dog scooting its butt on the carpet. Um, let's finish with some dump them out. Oh, God. Um, I was hoping you wouldn't say that. Because we got a bunch of stuff on the list. Mm. Also, uh, I want to get you out of here, Crystal, because uh, <laughs> no, no, well, we, we got to talk some crazy. You haven't eaten yeah, anything. Oh, hold and on. Then you told me and then you're gonna, I'm going to keep you too long. You have to rush to get the boys from school, and then uh, by the time you get home, you're gonna have nothing to eat. Anyway, big look how thoughtful he is. Yeah. <laughs> that's, oh, that's, that's what like I'm that. thinking. Of here. I like that. So romantic. <laughs> Huge boner. Right oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already laying the groundwork for later. <laughs> We got too many topics on the list today It's the end of the motherfucking show So come on baby, let's dump them out and play I wanna see your topics, Ooh, I wanna also see your bottom mix <laughs> Dump them out brought to you by um, two things. First, our hookups page where there's tons of small businesses around Central Florida and beyond that you can get a hookup uh, or a percentage off if you're a Tom and Dan listener. So check that out. There's dozens on there. And our watering hole program. Um, and if you're a brewery, a bar, or anything you want to sign up, just uh, go to uh, program now. Tom and Dan Watering Holes.com. We've got some new ones and some new breweries signing up. And, uh, you know, as things slowly get back running, uh, you know, we could help you out. So uh, check those two pieces out. So, what do you want to start with? Oh, we could talk about uh, so uh, Samantha. Truck, truck, uh, Evan Samantha. Helms. Uh, well, Samantha went to a local hospital. Mm. That well, uh, it was a Centricare. Yeah, oh, was Centricare. Yeah, don't say the name. And um, right. so, but <laughs> it, they have it's real religious. Let's say, like I don't uh, understand why that is painted on the walls. And it's I like went there backed. to get away from the religion. It's, is it because it's backed by the uh, m- religious money or something? Yeah. Yes. Um, Crystal, you know what I'm talking about, right? Uh, I think it's the same place we I think she's too lightheaded, too. Advent Health. It's, yeah, it's Florida Hospital, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Seventh Day Adventists. Yeah. 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 It's, it's where Advent they have Health the painting Adventist, of yeah. Jesus standing behind the surgeon, and he's like, yeah. not that scalpel. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, get the other one. <laughs> <You know>? yeah. <laughs> and then, like, God damn it, you guys are idiots. I made the, and then me and Samantha were talking about it, we're like, well, uh, just let Jesus do it. We don't like uh, all the religion uh, factored into I'm the not science a fan. here. Uh, uh, it was the only place that had an appointment open. My husband has pneumonia. Uh, oh, yeah. So we didn't know that. We had a COVID scare. We got tested. We're both negative. Uh, found out he had pneumonia. But going there, because it was the only place that had an appointment, uh, walking in, there's, you know, religious signs and, and verbiage everywhere, which is fine, whatever. I don't care. But it is a little off-putting when it you're is going a there for medical putting. science. Yeah. Well, yes. I but be- I was even at that point, I was kind of like, ah, whatever, right? I just want to get in and get out. But then the check-in form, you have one sheet that's just like your name, your birthday, all mm-hmm. that kind of stuff. But then there's a second sheet that is a spiritual wholeness check-in. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And it was like weird questions. Like, do you have someone in your life that loves you? Are you at peace with your life? Like, shit like that. And you, oh, yes yeah. or no? Oh, yes. I wish, somebody, business. I wish somebody would ask <laughs> me that. my fucking broken God. arm. If somebody asked me that, I'd finally feel like somebody fucking it cared about weird. it. It was weird. I made the analogy. It's like seeing a rabbit's foot on your commercial <laughs> airline pilot's keychain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you're like, why do you got yeah. that little buddy? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Why do you got that little guy? That there, <laughs> it's, it's, it's Matt, like, he's shaking a magic eight ball and as he's closing the, <laughs> yeah. the door. You how know, like, much will we land? I'm like, oh no, I want to see the answer. It's like, how much are you putting in uh, the hands of old JC here? Uh, like, you yeah. know, what I'm saying like uh, the doctors, like, oh, well, uh, hopefully this works. Uh, By I, the way, Jesus, scrub he'll up. come save us. I don't give a fuck. Scrub up. You got a beard. There's some fucking turds in that beard. Yeah. Put a mask on, Jesus. 
Um, they also, should put masks on all the paintings, uh, too. We have a few updated. people in the chat that uh, either worked for them or know people that work for them, and they pray every day before work. Mm. Well, this is fine. Uh, it's okay. your own business. Hey, do what you want to do. Yeah, I'm just also, saying I went to the one by UCF, because it's do they the closest make you? one. I probably. Do they make you pray? I would assume nah, so. Nah, 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 nah. Can you, they? Nah. They can't. Look, I pray to. I I pray just to make it today. <laughs> nah. There's there's laws. Hammer. Uh, it's probably Don't all. Hurt that's a voluntary. Business. Yeah, I mean, but they can do whatever the fuck they want, right? No. Well, you signed up for that job. You. They can't you ask can't, you what religion you are or right. anything like that for to, for work. Uh, oh, Tully's like in the chat laws. room. Is, did he get his balls he chopped off? He did get his balls chopped off. Can he call in? He can. Uh, I thought you guys wanted to dump him out, so yeah, I, did, I didn't set up the call. Yeah, say, uh, I, uh, Good luck with your dick, Tully. I just wanted to scare him uh, before he went yeah. in to tell you how. Yeah, he doesn't want to talk was. to him afterwards. Yeah, so it's already done. Before, yeah. Because I know the reality is, is like it's probably wasn't yeah, it was that fine. Bad. Yeah, <laughs> go back and get checked, or you're gonna have an unwanted pregnancy at 45. No, that's not gonna happen. Chris it was, happened to one of your BDMs, and I think it's gonna happen to us. N- yeah, but you won. Yeah, but yeah, you won other kids. Oh, oh, that's what I wanted to say. I'm glad you reminded me because two nights. To go, Crystal was sitting there, and then she's looking at her uh, Instagram, which she always does, of old pictures of the boys and uh, of them when they were babies. I will <laughs> you. And then she's like, "Look how small Max was." And then, uh, and then I'm like, oh. I like how hard you looked at that picture. That wasn't me. That was my friend Jamie who just had a baby. No, no, no. <laughs> you're showing me babies. Look at how small <laughs> Max was. I don't know. Look at how hard my boner is. God damn! I got my massage hands warmed up. And then Crystal uh, said. This, which I was not going to bite on, and I know was not the truth. She's like, if you give me another baby, I'll give you uh, unlimited blowjobs. Whoa! <laughs> That's a trap. <laughs> yeah, like, that is no, a trap. No. It's a trap. That's a Star Wars reference. Yeah. <laughs> Our friend That's did that to get a dog, and her hus- and she. For, it was for one year. There was an end. No, like there's, forever. there can be no end with a kid because there's no end to the kid. Uh, yeah, well, well were, the dog lasts, you know, eighteen years there, or something. There was there was hard to get blowjobs with three kids in the house. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's what yeah. I said, Samantha. Yeah. Because I made yeah. because that's, yes, that's like saying yes, you can buy a plane, <laughs> but uh, you can only use six <laughs> feet of sky. Because we I, we did we have a friend, uh, and she said uh, she wanted a dog, and my my buddy's grumpy, uh, <laughs> and he uh, didn't want any dog, and then she uh, proposed that you get unli- whenever you, you want. No crazy people. No, it's I on want demand. a do- it was on demand. demand. Man, blowjob for one year I for a dog, and he, wait, he did it. Many a day, like I can be like blowjob, blowjob. That blow was blow 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 blowjob. It worked job. for them. They did it. I started poking holes in it because that I was like, no way. It was like no way. And I don't she, believe that as far as I can throw a human being. And then we worked it down where there was, but it was like once a day, and then it was like it had to be obviously it can't once be in a public. Day for a year once is a day lot. is fucking amazing. I know, yeah. Yeah, but I think it waned. Oh, man, yeah. he's, he's like building a GNU. There's a no more anywhere. I anywhere. I went. I'm Kentucky Fried Chicken drive through. I'm like, yeah. I can hit it. I guarantee you, if I uh, text him right now, he's, he's in the garage building his canoe, no bullshit, for, <laughs> for at least two weeks. <laughs> anyway, I got that proposal and I was like, I know where this is going to lead. This is going to lead. There's going to be a baby. You're going to be uh, trying to. Too tired to suck your dick. <laughs> well, you know, all, uh, you're going to be trying to, uh, like. Uh, breastfeed. Bre- yeah. No, not even breastfeed, but Ooh. like milk with Nurse. the machine. No, the. Oh. What is it called? <laughs> <laughs> What's it called? Milk your tits. So you're all going to use <laughs> yeah, the milk a matic. <laughs> you know what it's with the. So you're the over there. Thing. You're the over there using the pump. The yeah, pump. you're at the breast yeah. pump, and then you're in the, the spare room like it was years ago, and you. You haven't slept in uh, days, weeks, because the baby slept. And then now we have uh, a, a six and seven year old. They're playing Minecraft all day, building suicide towers over and over. And then I, and then I'm gonna pop my head and be like, "What? Oh <laughs> of course, I'm not gonna get it. Hey, I, There's zero I chance it's ever gonna happen. I know your your nipples are black and falling <laughs> off, but yeah, yeah. could you suck my like, dick? Right, right, like who is gonna ask yeah. at that point? I would. Well, because well, they're they're the 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 deal. 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 Yeah, yeah, but you guess gotta, what? Yeah. When I when an advertiser pays us yeah. every month when it's well, in the bill, then, I'm like, "Well, where's the money?" Well, you know what? Because we had a deal. You're not my wife, but I would then I would tell Andrea politely. I'd be like, "Well, Cassie's not getting a kid." <laughs> well, now because taking the kid back, yeah, yeah. the kids are getting, getting a kid. Do we put it up for adoption? <laughs> there has to be written stipulations. I want because, twins. Uh, oh, oh my oh. god! Well, obviously, you guys don't ever want to. Never get a blowjob again. Never, you, you, you want no blowjobs. You want to do 
Well, only family things until the end of time. I have a broken jaw, so there's no blow jobs anymore. Anyway. <laughs> <Yeah. Aww. laughs> Joke's on you, buddy. <laughs> Actually, Oil it check. doesn't hurt when it's open. Well, I did say you can't uh, close yeah. it. <laughs> if, I, if I wanted a chomp job, <laughs> I understand it's off the table. <laughs> but last time I checked, blowing didn't involve your jaw. Anyway, um, um, what do I got here? Uh, <laughs> let's talk about the grift truck so I can get rid of this uh, damn thing. Yeah. I want to blow it up. Uh, yeah, there's uh, did a listener did offer us some land that mm-hmm. he blows what? up uh, some cars in. Yeah, oh. uh, I think it's a Tannerite type of deal. You fill it and blow it up. But uh, I thought he was going to get a piece a, of property for the truck. He like, sent yeah, me a picture. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, for me, two and a half acres <laughs> in Kissimmee. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> but it's not a place where everybody rides dirt bikes and get a little GPS plot. He sent me a picture damn. with like a Volkswagen with or not a uh, with like a station wagon with like a propane tank in it that he blew oh up. God. Cool. And, like, eh, I don't know if that's now, safe. I, I did get a text this morning uh, inquiring about the Griff truck <laughs> from a BDM that does like a lawn. Maybe, you know, he looks for trucks, so maybe we All could right. sell it. Yeah. Get blow it up for charity. We have no idea. But blow Samantha, it for charity is that a thing? Samantha <laughs> did say this, and I just said we'll talk about it. Write it down because she's like, I don't know what I got to do to get rid of this thing. Like, I'll do a photo shoot with it, and no. like, write that down. Yeah. <laughs> and then Hold I on wanted thing. to ask Hold you on the on air what kind what of photo you, shoot yeah. she mentioned oh, it. Like, God. She brought it this up. This is the last time I ever start a show with you. You're like, it's fun. I can't start a show with my boner. <laughs> like, no, because the whole show's been extra horny today. <laughs> it's funny. I got a topic about that. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> so, what, that was what, the whole show. But what did you mean by that? Because I didn't ask. I said, just write it down. We'll talk about it on Friday. I did, when you said photo shoot, all I could think of oh, was shit. 90s radio. I literally meant of the truck, but that's oh, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, I thought we said... I, I need to, like, start posting pictures mm, of, oh, to try and sell this thing. I thought it was like a mini trucking magazine. Yeah, I was doing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's all I, yeah. Yeah. I was going for like uh, the horse magazine don't, chopper. Don't them out. Yeah, yeah. 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 Mini <laughs> because right, I, I gotta I get like, some booty shorts I, and a crop well, top. I, well, I was like, that'll yeah. sell. I mean, <laughs> will it though? Or will people yeah. just look at the pictures and download them and not actually well, buy the truck? Well, if we be save a one, lot of that, <laughs> if we save the <laughs> one, majority. all we have to do is save one special photo. <laughs> And you get we, that with the purchase. Yeah, and you get that with what the if truck. I, okay, um, I will. If well, someone no. buys this truck, Uh-oh. I will give them a photo of me frogging on the hood of the truck. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Whoa. No, I'm, well, I'll be clothed. Like, 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 like I just frogging? bought a truck. <laughs> <laughs> I, tur- I turned into... <laughs> looks like I'm keeping it. <laughs> I, tur- <laughs> I turned into the 90s Winnie the Pooh. You went... <laughs> oh, Christopher Robin. That was good. Oh, so you're going to Oh, no, Mama. So Thomas, what does that mean? Me and Christopher Robin were like in the basically squatting on the front oh, of the okay, all right, all Do you right. know? You know what frogging is? Uh, oh. no, I just want well, to write it down. Oh, Piglet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. You got to get you got to do full Willie. <laughs> oh, Piglet, please frog the hood up there. <laughs> Ford Ranger truck. Uh, all right, so the offers out there. We're the gonna get rid of the truck. Uh, all right, uh, what else we got here? <laughs> John Bon Jovi at the inauguration. Oh, I, got I got it. It's so Sorry. bad. John, I, didn't, I didn't watch any of John, it. It was really bad. John, what are you doing? I didn't enjoy watching him. I got him ready. There was to go. A, okay. Um, you want to say a little bit of it? Yeah, before. It was just so weird. And also, that pier is not in Miami. Just yeah, we didn't. Know, yeah, we, yeah. If anybody, out? if anybody would know, it would be you guys. I, I've, I've never seen that pier. Yeah, it, I was like, where are maybe they? Maybe North Miami or Hollywood, but I don't think. Yeah, that's to in me, Broward it, County. It yeah. does not look like because I went to what I thought was a pier in the downtown Miami area for well, you. That's South Beach Pier. Even your wedding. Well, that's Miami, right? Like yeah. when people yeah, think yeah. Miami that's, Pier. That's yeah. that's a pier we used to jump off of when we were kids. The cruise ships go government cut. Uh, yeah. Like That's this quintessential South Beach Pier. Whatever pier they're playing on, it must be North Miami yeah. Beach or... It's like uh, New Jersey or something. Oh, yeah. my <laughs> wife. Is, well, they should have done New Jersey for John Bon Jovi, right? Um, well, it said right now. Right. Me and Daniel, Isn't that where he's from, yeah. and then him. Well, I guess Bruce is. You know, but here is. A, do you want to play it, or do you? Yeah, oh, I'll, so I will tell you one thing. I kind of want to see some of it because yeah. I haven't seen it. Me and Daniel did notice, and it bothered both of us oh, that bad. they didn't even bother to hide the end of the plugs on their instruments. So they're just laying on the floor unplugged because obviously they're oh, just on a pier, God. and, and they, they pipe the music oh, in, and awful. so the lip singing. But the the instruments, there's no amps, but also. 
real. They didn't even like pretend the plugs were just, going into the wood or something. Wireless. Uh, they yeah, they could have. Uh, right. They did nothing. It, it's weird. It, it, like, well, here I'll okay. just I'll Let's play. <laughs> like, it's the singing that was so bad for me. And, I agree. And they were lip syncing it. Yeah. It was weird. Here, here's a little John Bon Jovi. Okay, let's see if this plays. He also got Meemaw hair. <laughs> he looks like God. <laughs> yeah, just the way he's moving is very strange. No. <laughs> Here comes the sun. Weekly flashes those Here comes the sun. Right there. He comes this sun. So all night when my wife, even when we were about to make love, I was like, I like your puss. <laughs> yeah, I'm. And because he does a lot yeah, of like. hand motion. George Harrison's so but pissed. He looks like God in a few shots. Hold Man, on. he's got bright <laughs> chompers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like they should have done some lighting. Uh, oh, here's one. Here's a good one. They swoop through. <laughs> Here, watch yeah. that. Here it comes. Here it comes. It looks like God, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and well, then the flowing the white, white hair. hair yeah, you know they got upset for whatever producer did this was obsessed with the drone shot because they kept going back to it, drone, yeah. drone, drone, and it's like don't show that the, all the instrument. You could tell you're just sitting on a pier, uh, lip syncing, playing nothing. There have, you know been, what I'm like, there have been bands that. Like in Orlando, our local bands that have done exactly the same video and it's looked better. Mm-hmm. You know, I they could have done better, and we don't need John Bon Jovi. Garth, uh, that's cool, I guess. I don't know. I, mean, I don't need him either. Don't need him. I I I told you. I don't you, think he should have gone acapella like that. It was not good. I told you last show there are two bands that I determined two weeks ago I could do without. Mm. Not a diss on them, but Rob Zombie or White Zombie, or they, you, you, and Goo Goo Dolls. You get, I don't. I, if I'd never known who you are, I'd be okay. Mine are you two and Bon Jovi's band. I throw those in there yeah, too. I yeah, hate you too. I agree with both of those. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, uh, add it's, nothing to my. No life. offense. It's just I, you know, if I didn't know who you were, I'd be all right. So, all right, this is a theoretical question that I thought of, and uh, under dump him out under no uh, pretense of, uh, like, there's nothing that this is in common with, there's no subject matter that this makes sense, but uh, let me ask you guys this, and really only the guys, Travis Daniel, don't think I'm crazy, babe, or Samantha. So, I thought about this the other night, and tell me if you could, Daniel, you like these things. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. Do you think if offered, let's say, $20 million, wow, right? I don't know. $20 million, or maybe just put in $20 million and like, put, replace it Turd with... Turd fly. <laughs> oh, you got, got it? him. I got him last show. Cool. I didn't okay. get him that time. Or just to, to uh, save your daughter, family, whatever it is, like, Ooh. would it be possible, mm-hmm. right, it, to kill, like, totally kill... A, and I, I did think of this specific type of bird, like a regular brown Publix bird that you see in the parking lot. Oh, like, you know, okay. a brown you Publix, Publix bird. Publix bird. <laughs> so my, all I have to do is catch it, kill no, it. No, no, no. It's, its feet are tied to a table, right? And it's just sitting there. I am <laughs> fantasizing about no, no, Tom, Tom knows I love these. Tom knows I love these. I, love these. I, love these. I lay in bed so high, I'm paranoid. And when I lay there, I give myself ultimate scruple <laughs> questions. Yes, yes, yes. like, no. this is the ultimate life test. There's a man who needs food. Get, like, I go, th- I do this. This is what I do. Yeah, yeah, I like this. But okay, so you're like, at Publix and there's the, a bird tied no, to a no, table. You know, it's, no, it's just, it, 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 like, uh, you can have all day, or whatever, just sitting there, his feet are glued to the mm-hmm. table. Oh, he's glued to the table. Now. Could you kill it with just using your boner? <laughs> you know what? You're a genius. You're a goddamn genius. I, I, don't, know, I don't think I could. You got some okay. sick fantasy, man. No, That's on. not a fantasy. No, it's a theoretical question. I want to that boner? bird to a pudding no, with my dick. Can you, can you maintain the boner while, while you're murdering you're a bird? That's part of the so, you're a serial so killer. Gonna, no, so I'm going to have It's to save your family. I'm going to have to edge the whole time. Yeah. So I'm edging, 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 and then hitting the bird with my cock. I'm like, oh edging, my edging. God. I would kill a flock of birds for $20 million. And then I tell the bird, I'm like, it's hurting me more than it's hurting you. I just gotta kill you to win this fucking bet. Oh 
my motor. God, this is fucking me up, but I gotta kill you, Bert. But would you match? The question is, would you? It's could could you? you? Yeah, yeah. Is that would you? I know you would. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know that. I don't think I could. (laughs) But could you actually? Yeah, but see, here's the problem. How long is that gonna take? Here's the problem. You get my my motor isn't that big, so a lot of this is gonna become abdomen at some point. And do you? And do they have full? Um, are they allowed to beak you? Wait a minute. Or did you tape their beak shut? No, no, no. The bird is just feet. You now you could not. It out. I would have to main. I would have, have to. to I'd have to keep bringing me water. Keep bringing me water. Keep bringing me water. Keep drinking and drinking until my bladder gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And then I'm like, all right, bird. Because oh, he's no. close to the table, oh, no. and then I just have to. I have to piss in his face. No, no. no. A continuous stream for as long and as slow as I can no, to drown him. He's gonna shut us it'll down because he's glued to the table. I know, but it'll move. No, <laughs> but I'd have to aim. I'd have to slowly. It's like the game you play at the I'm, fair where I'm you're listen. squirting in the clown's mouth. It's just you a theoretical. Fall, you got to follow. Follow it until he drowns. To answer your question in record speed. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, the chopper could get it done fast, I think. Oh, people are saying he would peck your boner. He probably That's what I'm saying. That's why that that beak is... It uh, would hurt. No, I'm not saying it wouldn't hurt us. I'm just saying, could you actually do it? Uh, That's all I'm asking. Because I thought thought about this for a long time one night. (laughs) (laughs) You could have been uh, massaging your wife (laughs) instead of thinking about murdering a bird with your boner. No, tactical hat says, now, can I keep it flaccid? Now, I have foreskin. I grab my foreskin, stretch it out. Out, wrap Smother it around it. the bird's oh, neck. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then pull it. I'm like choking it out with my porch. Oh you know what? I told some of Tommy's friends' moms to listen. No! To oh, no. <laughs> Not yeah. to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I hope they did. Well, they have foreskin. This is great. No, so, <laughs> I told my dad to tune in at 12 today. <laughs> he has foreskin. I immediately regret this. He has foreskin. This is great. Yeah. And I, I, I bet your dad. We told everybody with foreskin to tune in because you're going to need. So you and I. Uh, it's just a theoretical. I'm not saying anybody's going to do this. We around the no. bird's neck and then pull it. Yeah! Yeah! Can I ask yeah. how this even came into your brain? Right. Like, were it you watching in... something? No. The birds? Yeah. No, or... th- this is what pops into my head that night. And then immediately afterwards, you want me to be romantic with you. No. He no. does oh, call no. you the crow. Oh, so I... there might be some correlation with a boner, no. a bird, hey, crow. Crystal, I don't could, tell uh, you about these things. Hey, Crystal, could you chirp a little bit? Hold on. I ride them. <laughs> <laughs> I just ride them down <laughs> for <laughs> dump them out. It's, uh, it goes, uh, like, I, I could Seth punch a truck until it couldn't start anymore. Lop on the house like, all day long. Lop on the floor. I'm I'm singing, hey, so. Just fantas- <laughs> fascinated <laughs> by <laughs> by <laughs> these. <laughs> like, would it be possible? Like, you're just smushing that as a pick, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, pick my boner. Like, cook. Piddly pack, pack my boner. Birds are hard. Eagle, my dick totally turns to meat. <laughs> what was that type of bird, the egret that we saw when we were uh, down in the West Coast? A heron. A heron. Oh, uh, no, that would kill are, you. Like, birds are hard as fuck. Like, they live, uh, the people think birds are like uh, gentle and they, they live on the no, wild. Yeah. Hard, yeah. If you could talk They're to them, hardened. every bird would be like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I seen some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, <laughs> yeah. They're probably hard to kill. Like they, 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 they eat each other. Yeah, they don't go down easy. Yeah. Uh-huh. Isn't that crazy? If the thing is that a hard life, that's what I'm saying. It's hard. Squirrels don't that, either. Like I shot a squirrel with a BB gun one time, and oh, I, yeah. that motherfucker started eating himself. Oh, oh, I, you know, he's just like. Ah. <laughs> Did you happen to find the tumor squirrel that we have? Oh yeah, uh, is he dead? I, well, I he will. Be. I hope so. Yeah, he will. <laughs> so Tom so so beat him to death with his boner. <laughs> <laughs> That's the funniest thing Bowie ever said. I didn't know you knew about him. Oh yeah, he came. Oh, no, to about him. He's on the show. He's a character now. He, he came to like when I was messing with my plants last weekend. He came to like beg for me to kill him. Oh, <laughs> because he sat, he sat on the fence oh, behind so me, much pain. and his head was filled with tumors. His hair was full of you know big tumor He was head. climbing up the tree. A cat was chasing him, and he was climbing up the tree. Tree. And you know our, our oak trees? I'll he make got up for to like, the branches part, so it was pretty high, and then he just fell off. <laughs> yeah, you know why? Oh. These tumors way too much. These tumors are too heavy. Oh, every step he's having a seizure, it's oh. bad. And then I look at him like, I'm sorry, I'm too soft to kill you. No, oh. let's take him to Tom, the when, I, when I return you, to the doctor, you can't <laughs> save him, and even saving him will do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> they'll, they'll you know what? This, they'll kill him. I've got, re- I've got a red rider. We can handle yeah, this. No, I'm too soft. I'll do it. The real man will come and do it. Charlie will bring his lightsaber. <laughs> trying to kill. Like, remember when Ross was on the news killing rats on the news? <laughs> <laughs> they, were show, they were showing him. He's hitting him with bats, a bat on the nose. Ross McCoy is hitting bat. He's hitting rats with a bat near his gas grill. 
He's <laughs> like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> that, 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 that happened. That happened. <laughs> I saw Ryan die by Ross's hand on the news. Oh, God. Anyway, <sighs> that tumor squirrel's got to die soon. Yeah, I don't, I don't, know, if, the hell out I don't know if saving that one is... Uh, no, there's no I don't saving know, it. I don't know if capture it. Just throw a box on it next time you see it. And and then, throw no, one of your plant boxes on it. And, and then I'll drive over it. the I'll box. No, but you'll kill it? You'll put it out of his no, misery? No, I'm going to take it to the wildlife center. And then the guy's going to be like, it is a tumor. we got to kill it. I don't know if you've seen Kindergarten Cop. It is a tumor, yeah, yeah. and I'm killing it. But he fell probably right euthanize it, like oh. instead of just nice like way. beating it to death. Like he you fell guys. out of the tree so far, right onto the sidewalk, and it thumped. Oh. Like, it pr- oh, and then he yeah. just got up and ran back. That was God trying. Hey, but we have a medium Christian group. I'm in there too because you know, yeah. like I'm still on my journey, whatever. But yeah, that, for those of you that believe in God, that was a try. Mm. I like it. I, I'm hoping you actually take the squirrel to the hospital, and the doctors take him in the back room, and they're like, "Hey, Ted, you think I'd kill the squirrel in my boner?" <laughs> that's cool, man. That's too hard. I they, uh, they fight scrappy. back. Bird, Especially this bird bones got are all hollow. kinds of warts protecting its head. I need, <laughs> yeah, you I, might get a disease. I need a squirrel that doesn't have all that lovely, fluffy, uh, organic armor on The its back head. of his head looks like tree bark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a real, it's, wait a it's, it's really a ba- bad. Baby it's a group. zombie. Baby group. <laughs> Can you get a picture of it? I kind of want to see. Yeah, I next, it's yeah. like so small and fast, but... We'll just capture it. That's and, what we'll do. We'll and make garage a garage get die. It. How was, are you going to capture it? I was hoping that you didn't see it because that when I saw it, I was like, get out of here before my wife sees it. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. My exactly. wife will love you, Quasimodo. Well, <laughs> now that I know he's a regular, I'm going to ch- track him down and capture him. Because then I'll be uh, having it in a box. <laughs> next well, no, right. you'll, you'll have it wrapped up, swaddled. You'll be holding it at one of our events. I'm going to be <laughs> I'm going to be driving it to the wildlife it's refuge. It's your new son. <laughs> Bithlo. And then I'll have the smoke machine because they have dropped the, tech, uh, the smoke no, machine off. Turn the smoke machine on, <laughs> smoke out the rat. And then it's going to fucking pop out of the box, go, go see you crazy. Back over the box. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's what's going to happen. Everything. It could be a fast death if done right. Oh. Uh, I just don't have the balls to do it. Too soft. Yes, the garage cat died. Um, By the way. Yeah, yeah, we talked about that. Uh, what did it die of? It died of the big blue eye. I mean, I'm it, no doctor. I think it died <laughs> from being horribly revolting. It should have, uh, yeah. Hey, whatever was causing the mambo blue and white eye. Right. Who would have guessed well, that that was the, the culprit. what was killing it? <laughs> yeah. And you know what? It was so fun to be around. It's quite the tragedy. <laughs> it's just attack and spread. Yeah, I mean, you know, I said yeah. earlier that if Rob Zombie and Goo Goo Dolls had never been in my life, but you know what? I do miss Garage Cat. Um, <laughs> and we sh- we're going to talk about this again, but uh, we'll, we'll end with the damn uh, theme days at school because I know Maisie is dressed like a hundred year old. No, it's a fight in her house because uh, <laughs> well, Andrea just lets her half ass it, and I'm like, no, she looked amazing. What no, are you talking she about? She looked like Maisie with a cane. <laughs> she looked so cute. She well, always looks you know cute. Why? I'll never not say she's no, cute. but she looked like a little cute old lady. But kid. she was dressed up like an old lady, yeah. and then the whole entire costume. Started being deteriorated. You know, it was like, it started as curlers in the hair and then a babushka thing on and then the That's glasses. That's the pic I saw. And the, yeah. No, no, no. Don't believe what's on oh, Instagram, okay. folks. Oh, yeah. Don't believe that, what's on people's Instagram, That's what we want folks. you to see. Uh, yeah. Yes, that's what mothers want you to see. What you really see is Maisie in a yellow dress with a cane. <laughs> so she kind of looks like a girl pimp. She does <laughs> not right. look like an old lady. But she got mad because she, she didn't, didn't want to wear the curlers. Wear that crap, yeah. And I'm not a half-asser. If you're going to do it, do it right. If you if you don't want to do it, then just don't do it. I'm an all or nothing on that. See, I'm just mad that they have these things, yeah. and then they, the school proposes, and next week they, we have a whole week of it. A Seven, whole, five, uh, five days of you know, and it's not just wacky tied. Like, okay, if you're a corporation <laughs> and you're wacky like, socks. we need to have uh, some sort of camaraderie, socks, socks. and we're gonna do wacky sock day on Friday, and then everybody can show the, their true uh, colors or what? I don't know what personality, their personality yeah. through your, uh, and then uh, Bill brings them over. SpongeBob. Oh, <laughs> hey, no one to is stupid. Uh, these are uh, Joe Cool's uh, Charlie Brown. Oh, you don't know who that is because it's a fucking old cartoon. Yeah. But at least uh, if you don't participate, it's fine. And also, maybe you have a pair of some socks, some old socks that have some shit on it, some uh, Miami Dolphins or whatever. Like, you got something. But the these school, are Patrick Mahomes. 
The school mm-hmm. starts coming up with shit that nobody has laying around, like Tommy. Yeah, had, where you have to go spend money and waste time. It's yeah. it's like book week, and they're like, wear a shirt with your favorite poem written mm-hmm. on it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who yeah. has that? I'm not kidding. I have to write it on there. That's bullshit. So we I, have to go get our own that's shirt, bullshit. write a poem in puffy paint or whatever the hell. <laughs> and then, like, <laughs> like, and I have to, I have to find the poem. My kid doesn't have a favorite poem. Hello. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. Poem. And what then the like hell? Thursday is like career day, so dress as the person that you want to be when you grow up so i'm like i mean he wants to be spider-man or crystal whatever. right it's it stinks it stinks it stinks in here the diary in the atmosphere. <laughs> yes. i'm serious i mean yeah. I, that is their favorite poem it's my favorite too yeah. <laughs> i'll actually make that for you what do you With need two emoji. small little shirts i can do that. Yeah. who started this that's what i'm mad at is it the teachers was it the uh did the teachers get together and be like i think you it's know, the goddamn pta it's just evolved spirit day right yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But we have they're Spirit starting Day every Friday, guys. Yeah, every that's Friday. But that's Spirit ridiculous. Day every but, Friday. Yeah, every Fuck Friday. That. There's multiple weeks of dress up like this and this and the, the oh, hundred days of school. Dress up like an old lady or old man is like, why are we doing this? No, yeah. like for who? Who does this benefit? The kids don't even like seem no. to get enjoyment. My of argument. It. My argument is, I'm not going to go to the party store, or in this case, her mom go to the party store. And I was, I was been out of shape this morning. I was mad at both of them because I'm like, if we're going to fucking do it, then we do it. But if we're not going to do it, let's not half-ass it. Because, like, I don't know. Like, I don't like doing that. Like, I like, like, when Maisie's at the house. See, I'm taking this seriously. That's where you guys know. You're like, oh, shit, he's serious. I take this shit seriously because I like dressing up and playing characters. I like being able to control this alternative reality or my imagination. It's fun, you know? Mm. And Maisie's really good at it. you. And she has this costume, and she put it on last night, and I did all this legwork because Andrea already told me. I'm trying to be, you know, good dad. She's like, she doesn't like the curlers, you know, because she really likes her hair being the way it is. She likes her hair. Uh. And I'm, so she put the curlers in, and I overdid. I was like, oh, it looks so fucking cool. Oh, look at you. Wow. Oh, man, I wish I had curlers. And she was, like, doing the whole shtick. I'm like, oh, my name's Rita. And she's pretending to be an old lady. And I'm like, oh, this is great. So this morning... I come down, and then I look at her. She's in a yellow dress with a cane. I'm like, well, what happened to all the other shit? You know, mm. she doesn't want to wear that. I'm like, well, what happened? How did it fall apart? It's embarrassing. I'm with Maisie. It is, you know, it, you know, the, kid, the kids get embarrassed to have too much attention on themselves. They do, and Maisie's really, really bad about that. But my thing is, like, well, I'm not going to buy it, though. If you don't want to wear it, that's fine. And I get that. But we're not going to buy it anymore. Because right. you need to understand that I'm just not going to collect. And what about the, the families that can't afford to buy these fucking costumes every week? Well, I, I oh, don't want to be... I told the, my kids you know to make fun saying? of the other ones. Uh, the, the poor are too poor. I just don't want to... Well, when you, forget, to when you forget to dress your kids up, they're going to make fun of your kids <laughs> thinking they're poor, too. Like, to me, uh, that's the, like, to me it's, it makes sense. It's even. like, if we bought the <laughs> thing, even. then you need to wear the thing. Yeah. And the, you know what? You're talking to a five-year-old. Right. I understand that. But I think it starts... At the day they're born, right? Like trying to implement what you think would be the best way for them to learn. So I think sometimes you got to learn that doing something that isn't necessary might be a little apprehensive, be a little scary. You should try it. No, no. You know, give it a go. Let them do whatever they want. That's what Andrea does. And I'm always the guy that says, no, we bought this. And the lesson here is that if you want to buy this, you got to wear it. Or we're not buying anymore. But apparently I'm outnumbered and I was wrong on that one. So I told Andrea. Would you rather send her to school crying with the curlers? She wouldn't cry, though, because there's ways to do it. I'm not going to force her. I'm not going to yell at her. (laughs) No, 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 no. You're holding her down, (laughs) wrapping the curlers. There's ways to do it. Like she was wearing them. Something happened to unravel that. I don't know if it's just... just yeah. and, and you know what sucks is the dynamic that I have with her and the dynamic that Andrea has with her is completely different. And it's not... But that's good. No, it is good. Because she's, she's getting a, a healthy dose of you and a healthy dose of her. You know? I agree, but Andrea is easier to... It is very easy with Andrea, and I'm trying to be respectful when I say this because we are not agreeing on this at all. It is very easy with Andrea to get her to get to a point where she's like, yeah, you don't have to do anything. And not oh, with yeah, me. I like I'm, I'm the guy where I'm like, no, See? we bought this, mm-hmm. and I'm teaching you that because we spent $20 and these yeah. fucking, fa- they're fake. They're not even real rollers. You can roll your hair. <laughs> You're going to wear this at least once because I'm teaching you that we don't just have Five $20 yeah. and hours yeah. to drive to Winter Garden Party City Store for you to not dollar. use it. Yeah. You know, like, and maybe five is too young for that, but I don't think so because she's really smart. So I'm just going on how smart she is, not on necessarily her age, but I'm... 
Apparently wrong. I'm with uh, Andrea because uh, everybody else is. Ma- Maisie the, will I'm love her, love her more yeah, when she goes up. As you Give know. her already does. I love the <laughs> one. Does. I love the one that let me do whatever I want. <laughs> that's my plan. And that's because that's who you are. <laughs> no, but that's true. <laughs> yeah. That's true. I get so little love in this house, like because I'm like you ask Daddy, can I do that? And I go, Nah, you can't do that. She'll go immediately to Andrea and ask her why. Because that's you, what kids you do. didn't give her the answer. Yeah, she exactly. Wanted. Right, but Andrea. Will I'm uh, not gonna say it. Don't. No, I'm not gonna say it. It's gonna be marriage counseling. No, all I, just, I just it's you know, a, does it, Maisie it, say? Daddy's mad all the time. <laughs> Why does my daddy always yell at me? Because that's what I get. Oh wow! Oh. Uh, because oh, wow. mommy's for, always you know mad. What? You want to go Crystal. get a drink every day? Oh, my God. I, I scare Travis, too, and I scare everyone else. <laughs> no, you don't. Maybe you don't. I am a monster. You don't scare I, me. No, In fact, I, I like what you're laying down. Me, too. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's got to have rules around here. We yep. can't be having well, the, candy in the but morning. But that's what I say. But then Andrea hits me with, with other stuff that's important. So you got to give both sides, right? It's fair. She's like, well, I, I'd like for her, if she doesn't want to wear it, it's uncomfortable. I like She's expressive. She's telling me what she wants to wear and her comfortable le- uh, levels with stuff, and we, we should respect that. I can't really argue with that. Yeah, so that's the thing. She's getting a healthy dose of both of you. Mm. So it's all a balance. Mm, I don't like balance. Yeah. I like the teeter totter to always be on my <laughs> side, other person way in the air. <laughs> <laughs> so far, they can't get down. Yeah, I don't want them to be able to get down. And, and I'm Andrew, in control. I'm like, you can, I'm like, you can't get down, Andrew. No way out. No. <laughs> yeah, I'd like for you to be forced into ride or die. I don't like for you to be ride or die willingly. Yeah, 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 thank yeah. you, Sam. Then the next door neighbor hears some noise. The, uh, next door yeah, neighbor, like, uh, we live in a townhome. They're, they might like, as well. Be in the argument. It's like, what's that noise? It's a high risk with this dude. <laughs> and then she's crawling out the front door. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> uh, <big old bug. laughs> I did get my neighbor to play the song. Yes, I the remix. Play the remix. We'll end with that because it never gets old. It's a 2012 hit. When is that? I don't know. I'm still a fan of Hide Your Kids, Hide Your Wife. That was my favorite. He's on Cameo, by the way. He is. I wonder, like, how much money did you just make from saying that one thing on the news? Like, did he make ten thousand no, dollars? Hey, did you guys? Wa- did anybody here watch 1, Even 000? Stevens? Mm-hmm. Yes, As, absolutely. Okay, so you know who Beans is? Yes. Yeah, the character Beans who ate all the bacon. The, there's a character from this Disney what show. What is this? Is it a Disney show? What is Shia, 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 Shia LaBeouf? Back in the day, uh, back in the day Shia LaBeouf. Oh. It was what broke his original him. role. Yeah. yeah, it was his yeah. original role that broke him. And there's a character on there, like you know, like this. This guy they wrote on there, a neighbor kid named Beans, who ate all this bacon. And he was in a People Magazine article yesterday that popped up. These teen girls found him, and they're like, whatever happened to Beans? And they found him, and he was working as a Santa's helper in some, like, Iowa mall or something. And they took a picture of him, and since... Uh, becoming an adult beans, all of his hair has fallen out. No. Oh. He had, like, uh, he started going bald when he was 14. Really? <laughs> yeah. And, uh, Holy and so, shit. The, and so they took this picture of him as Santa's helper, and he's like, like a, he actually is a decent looking dude, but it is a really, really, Smoking hot teen girl, like with him, and he's dressed like an elf with no hair. And it's like the most mortifying picture. Oh my it's our, god! It's a uh, remember beans. Here he is. Let's humiliate him in People Magazine. Like, Why leave the yeah, mother girl alone. Trying to work. I don't know what oh, that. Oh, I just found it. Yeah, it's sad. So you see the girl on the right? How hot she is? Well, no, I'm just seeing a side by side of him when he was yeah. on the show and him now. Yeah. And- it's bad, but he's like good. he's a good looking guy now. But if you look at the girl, she's like literally like looks like a social media influencer, and then they're clowning on him. Anyway, Let's know. find a normal person who did one acting role when they were a kid mm-hmm. and must have gone through an unfortunate amount of events to get to this position and take a picture. There's a lot of similarities him. between Beans and Beetlejuice. They look kind of the same. The, oh, you're saying okay. Oh, yeah. uh, well, uh, no, 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 from no, Howard, no. Stern. Howard Stern. The Howard Stern Beetlejuice. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is he alive? Oh, I did. Oh, find, yeah, I yeah. did find the picture. He's Dan, with, and you're he right. Yeah. Like, yeah. It, it He's with Daddy Longneck now. He, he got like, yeah. He's like, ah, carrots, carrots. Yeah, I don't know about carrots. All right. Um. So what do we got here? Um. Let's uh. Some antics. Huh. Mm. <laughs> Is it this? Uh, is every other week, right? We it's, are. We're going to release one this week as long as uh, my husband's not uh, hospitalized. Yeah, how's he oh, doing? Yeah. 
Uh, he's got a checkup after this. I got to take him. Um, but uh, we recorded while we were on our vacation. So the Dig show's it. already recorded and everything, but we should be able to release it this Sunday if he's not in the hospital. Throw so some. Send us uh, some good vibes, yeah, guys. Yeah, send some good vibes. Maybe a uh, get better Travis email to semantics yeah. we got so, any uh watering holes promotions coming up uh, no just go out and visit them you know uh, give them some business everybody's still hurting so west end cafe da vinci's brew tap house you can have... swing through for packages too exactly um, if you're not comfortable going to bars i know a lot of people aren't still yeah. and why would you be it's kind of crazy um but you can swing through for package and it's a very 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 simple thing to do that really helps out bars also we also have some pint glass out at bug nutty brewery out in uh coco coco mm-hmm. beach area and so definitely check them out uh they're giving away free pint class with any uh, draft so look them up cool uh hand me that lightsaber uh we're gonna end with me swinging it around. you can just go to tom and dan watering to check out all the watering holes <laughs> also uh dan you wanted to mention that you're putting the tunes and the melissa videos that uh yeah. the funny videos in between the friday free shows on the youtube content. yeah from now on when we have brand new tunes or a brand new melissa video um i will uh throw those into That's our awesome. shows so when you're watching the friday free show or maybe an act depending on when it comes out on the week um you will get these added into your content so we're just trying to do a little bit better for you um don't forget one eight four four t o m the letter n dan tom n Dan, you can text that number, you can call that number, leave a voicemail message. Very, very easy to do. Remember, if you do text that number, you have to text BDM. That will opt you into receiving messages from us, and we promise not to be pains in your ass like marijuana dispensaries. All right, guys, we'll see you. I'm going to turn on the lightsaber. Oh, and my God. That's <laughs> really cool, dude. Is that what he does to you, Crystal? <laughs> Is that it? Was that it? I feel like that was the boner in the bus. <laughs> what are you supposed to do? What, what, what uh, momentum do you want? <laughs> yeah, there's the no, there's that's the no there's no motion in the ocean. <laughs> How fast that, you are! That, hey, that was a very familiar face. No, oh my God. <laughs> oh, I'm coming! <laughs> what are you supposed to do with this? Is that a goddamn oh, baby toy? Oh. No, no! Oh, oh. 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 oh he broke it! Oh, no! Oh, yeah. You wiggled it too fast! I wiggled it too fast? That's bracing? $300! All right. Bye bye. Oh, wait a minute. I, I can't publish that. It's um, mediocre. And now it's time for the Tom and Dan end of the show footnotes. Today you heard music from Silver Alert. Yeah, I think these guys actually listen to the show. You can head over to their Bandcamp site and get their latest offering. It's jam-packed. It's 20 songs. Jump over there and support these cats in their grassroot local punk rock goodness. Up next was Dan the Man. And no, I'm not talking about me. This Dan is the maker of folk-tinged power ballads. And you can check out his brand new release right now from the brand new Brightly Colored Creatures album. You heard Dan the Man with See You in Hell. No Effects was up next with a very strange and new version of one of their biggest and most famous songs. It's actually a brand new song because they... Kind of took pieces of it, and well, you'll just have to check it out. Over the course of the last 40 years, they've been playing the song Linoleum. Well, they let other bands and Avenged Sevenfold take their swing at this. Enjoy Linoleum. We closed the show with a funky song to dance us into the weekend. We eased into a fun Friday with a new song from the band Sports from their new Get a Good Look Part 1 album. You heard the song, The Look. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you Monday for BDM shows, and we'll see you back on Twitch for more live video. Is that the free?